Welcome back, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Season 2. We're back! <laughs> I like that. That's enthusiasm out there. So good to be back, everybody. I hope you had an excellent New Year's, uh, Christmas, everything that happened. Um, er everything. I hope it's great. Here with our The Boys. I think that's the best way to say the it. Boys the Boys are back, yeah. back in town. We are here with Eric from Comment Etiquette. Hello. We are also here with Jack of Jack's Ooh. Film. A cheers, thank Jack's you. Jack's not your real name. Jack is not my real name. It's John. How do, is Jack a name, or is it just completely an alias? So Jack is just a uh, an assumed nickname of John. So like you know, President really? John really? F. Kennedy, he was he people knew him as Jack. That I one believe. doesn't make that much sense to me because it's like <laughs> no, two it does. Very... They're very similar. Yeah. No, and it's not. It's not like a nickname. Like you're not shortening anything, or like it's just the, the letters. The first letter's the same, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't make any logical sense. You but just hate John. Oh just yeah, take the name John. My legal like, name is John really Douglas, but nobody calls me John. You go by Jack. <laughs> I go by Jack. My okay. own mother calls me Jack. Oh well, God bless. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Who is John? That's interesting. Some today. schmuck. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, today's episode is sponsored by Hims, Bowen Branch, Quip, and Lift. Um, next week, before we get too deep into this, we have got Mark Marcus Brownlee, aka MKBHD. You guys know him? Oh sure. He's the best. He's, I love him. Very very excited. So to hot have right now. Him He's so hot right now. <laughs> um, he's one of the most prolific tech reviewers on YouTube. A huge fan. Leave questions for him on the subreddit at an unusual time. That episode will be airing Wednesday the 24th at 7 p.m. PST. A little late for all you uh, night owls. <laughs> um, as is tradition with these fine guys, let's get drunk and, and work on ruining my career. <laughs> oh, cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah. hey, cheers, Anyla. everybody. I hope you all have a beer or something, thank too, you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cheers. And Ela. You know, I feel like we're one of the same person. <laughs> Wherever it is that I am, you're included, right? So Eric brought this, by the way, and he yes. said it was quite bad. <laughs> well, was it bad or strange? I never said it was good. Okay. For the record. <laughs> yeah. So Solid me... start. It's definitely... Uh... You guys cringed pretty uh, hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a oh sipper. That is not a chugger. That's a sipper. <laughs> not bad. It's perfume. It's kind of, I'll say it's bad. Think, kind of gross. Really? I actually don't mind it. <laughs> uh, that's some cold weather beverage. Yeah. 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 It comes from Norway. It's that's when paint. it's like dark for a week straight and you're like, let's see if this kills me. <laughs> oh, like one of those real northern, uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's got like a stink. <laughs> it's got a stink. That's on the <laughs> bottle, I think. <laughs> yep. Maybe it's got a stink. <laughs> So how you guys been? Talk to me. What have you been up to, Jack? Oh, oh boy. So I uh, had a nice little um, Christmas, uh, New Year's holiday break back on the East Coast. Um, just kind of ping-ponged everywhere from Maryland, New Jersey, to Pennsylvania, to D.C. Was that for and pleasure? Traveling family. around? Family stuff? All, always for pleasure. It's yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's my kink, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, just strictly like just a nice lax week. And then I had another kind of like vacation from um, – because normally I'm always – Posting videos like always, always, always. It never stops, and it kind of drives me insane. Yeah, you are very, <laughs> very active, my friend. Well, I, it's it's not a good thing. I need to take a break. So I it, I had an accidental um, break where I went to uh, CES in Vegas last week. Mm. Uh, the big I would tech like to expo. Ask you about that, I've heard yeah. about it. It was actually awesome. I was there to meet with brands, have meetings, blah blah blah. But it was my first um, CES show that I've been to. I've never like I've read on this read about this expo for a decade, hmm. but I've never been to one. So that was really cool to, to go to. And originally I was gonna still like upload three videos that week. I ended up not at all. And <laughs> it was a really nice break. I right. needed it like for my nice. sanity. Like as you guys know, you need to do that every oh, once yeah. in a while. So it was a total happenstance it's total accident. But um boy oh boy did I need it. So that was you like my second recharged. break. I do. I nice. really, really do. That's so, good. So so that was my break. How do you keep nice. your ideas down? Do you keep like a Google Doc? No, I I have a I I uh, have one of those phones with the styluses, oh so I write God. I write every, I write everything down. I love doing that. How do you not note? lose that thing? That's what I've always wondered. It's a notepad, oh, right? Well, it's got it an alarm. Goes in the phone. It goes in the phone, oh, and I don't lose it. It beeps if yeah. you can leave. We, it happened can, to me. Can we? That's can you give us a cool. beep? Yeah. So let me just if I leave it here, let me walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk kicking out. you out. Okay, let's get yeah. Lock the door when he's out. <laughs> and, and take the pen, by the way. <laughs> take the pen. Oh, wait, you, know <laughs> you know what? Maybe I Don't should forget take, the on. pen. I'm gonna oh, take right. the stylus yeah, so I can leave this here so you can yeah. hear it. Otherwise, yeah. you won't hear it. Okay, excellent. Smart. So we'll just sit quietly. <laughs> yeah. And I'll wait for the beep. So <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> you want me to lock that this door? Is how, yeah, lock that. <laughs> Dan, uh, get him an Uber, would you? <laughs> um, I don't hear a beep. 
First of all, I want to ask you, Eric, you didn't drive here drunk, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <I saw laughs> Absolutely. That. I saw that in your videos. How everyone was shitting on you yeah. for driving drunk. Are you seriously moving on and like? Well, I'm waiting well, for the beep. This thing hasn't beeped yet. I'm not gonna sit here quiet. I gotta. You know what? It's hot here. Wait for the beep. I'm gonna turn the AC. <laughs> oh! Wait, that was Dan. That was Dan. Uh, <laughs> it totally worked. You guys hear that? Totally worked. I'm doubting the authenticity of the beep. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Wow, that phone is amazing. Save the day. <laughs> it's amazing. You just lost your it's, stylus. Man, that, that really test. that was so disappointing. Yeah. I was so excited to like show off this cool like <laughs> lost and found feature. And well, oh well. Clearly, you are a very responsible phone owner yeah. to have uh, carry that around with you <laughs> and keep the pen. I'm very proud. I wanted to look briefly. I, I wanted to ask you something, Jack, because I was pretty impressed with with uh, this video here. Yeah. Every video oh, I made sure. in 2017. Oh sure, oh, this was a fun one to do. So, oh my, it's quite long, okay, yeah. So, oh, it's an hour long. So I wanted to congratulate wait, 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 you on wait. the audio editing. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was really excellent. As you can tell, that's where all my time this, went. This is actual you should give a 3D warning warning that you can scroll around? Yes, in fact, can you, can you drag it? Yeah. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Son of a can bitch. Can you talk me through the process of uh, putting this together? <laughs> yes, it's actually not as Hold on Hard. a sec. I just I want to make sure that people can enjoy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, yeah. So putting that together really is not as complicated or tricky as oh one would think. This is so cool. I can do it while it's paused. It's neat, right? Yeah, I love. And if you're on a phone, you can actually like move move it around. It'll move with yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, like a little VR thing. Yeah. Um, all you have to do to do this is just put all of your videos or pictures or whatever you're gonna do in a grid. Right, like in kind of a geometric grid with rows and columns. Mm. So I, so first I had to figure out like mathematically because I made a couple of more videos than what is shown here, but I had to trim a few to get an even um, something squared. Uh, so it's mm. like uh, ugh, it's, I think it's thirteen by thirteen. So like thirteen videos in a row and thirteen uh, rows, something <laughs> like that. Um, so then I have to go and te like the hardest part was just making this grid. So in this 16 by 9 grid in Premiere, you just kind of tediously put it in, you know, <laughs> row by like row. That's a lot of uh, oh juice. It, was it a task on your computer? It was. And, and originally, um, when I hit the little export button, it was like, bloop, 400 hours left. <laughs> and I was freaking out because I, you know, I wanted this out now because I don't have patience. So what I did was I kind of tricked it. So I only exported like two rows at a time. And my computer could handle that in minutes. Hmm. So, like, I did the first two rows, you know, whoop, and then I did the next two rows. And then, finally, I just kind of, like, when everything was exported, then I threw all of the videos together um, on top of each other oh and just kind of cropped. <laughs> and my computer just handed that, handled well, that fine, and that's well, that. Well, I just want to congrat. I mean, but this how is do you, well so worth how effort. Is it like a, <laughs> yeah, oh, so. right. Like that's a just globe. an export setting. So you just oh. make sure, like, when you export the video, there's a little thing you click in Premiere that's like... Uh, <laughs> VR. So this is just again, just to enjoy this. Yeah. No, it's really, it's really nice on the ears. Absolutely, 170 oh, videos man. playing at once. It's an hour nice. long. It sounds yeah. like a nightmare. Oh, yeah. my God. It's, oh, this oh, it is, is the apocalypse. This yeah. is kind of, this is the last thing you see yeah, before you die. Pretty much. Yeah. I want to look into the gates of hell. All right. This is kind of what it looks this like. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Anyway, hell congratulations on that. Oh, thank you very much. Thank it's, you. It's, it's that a, was awesome. It's a really powerful way to review all the content you've made over the year. <laughs> it was well, it was, it was either that or like a best of 2017 video, yeah. and I was like, nah, <laughs> screw that. How many, how many videos total are in there? 169. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> nice. man. That's great. How many videos? I don't know. We've made like 360 in our whole career. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many videos you made on your channel? About a thousand, something like that. Wow. I think I, I think I finally hit the thousand mark. Oh and Eric, you have like 15? Yeah, 15, 16, <laughs> oh, something like that. Oh, oh come on. I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, you know, where's the content? I but want it's, to watch it's 169 videos. videos worth of good times yes right and demonetization he, i'm into that how are you getting slammed no nah, no nah. okay i'm fine yeah, yeah your videos yeah, are I'm, super I'm family really? friendly yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah how about that i can't complain you're not kidding yeah i can't, no, I can't tell if you're, you're like <laughs> no i mean there's still like i he's a hard uh, read i guy. did a, a one video and i forgot <laughs> to blur out a nipple 
and it kept getting like I, you got demonetized. I was like, what the what I do? Oh, they found a nipple. That algorithm oh. could sense the nipple. It found a nipple, or somebody reported it. Like, oh, nipple. <laughs> was that one of your um, like Pornhub videos? Or uh, yeah, I'm just trying it was to me think leaving comments nipple. on a on a porn video. Because uh, you have reading, a couple of those now. I wasn't even leaving one. I was just reading one. Somebody was in character as Bernie Sanders, <laughs> saying, "I remember when I used to give good dick like that in a, in a porn comment." I was like, oh, that's funny. Somebody sent it to me on Twitter, and uh, <laughs> there's a nipple on the side. <laughs> I didn't even see it when I was editing, and the fucking thing got demonetized. That sucks. That, you know, that aside, um, I'm fine. I was hanging out with Idubs once. We were when we were shooting the video. I remember. I don't remember what video we were making at the time, but he had uploaded a video, and his and for one frame, his nuts were visible. <laughs> he had nice. forgot. He had not blurred it for one. So we rushed home. And luckily, there is a there's a thing on YouTube. You can now edit it mm. post production. Oh right, you can. Which was shocked to me. I didn't know that. I was like, man, you got to. You got to get in there and get that nut out. Right. You got to re-export that whole <laughs> but thing he, without the he, nut. He got to it before YouTube did, and so. Oh, thank God. I don't know that there's there may be images of his nuts floating around to this day, but. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't, yeah. If it was up there for a minute, I'm sure somebody captured it. It was like a it's split second floating around on 4chan somewhere. <laughs> it's like a lost Bitcoin on someone's hard drive. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So I, I I was watching this video also, Jack, and I just oh, I noticed I I'm fascinated by Pitbull too. Are you? You are. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't understand. What's the deal with Pitbull? Why is he so funny? And also, yeah. why is he so popular? Yeah. Um, I don't... Okay. Let, I'm going to try to tackle the second one. But the first one, I, he's just... He's a meme. Because it's Pitbull. Nobody in the history of the world has ever been like, man, I could really go for some Pitbull right now. <laughs> no one. No but one ever craves so, Pitbull. But people... He's so popular. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. I mean, he's got a show in Vegas. Like, he's... Super popular. I think he just makes... Oh. <laughs> that's not him. No, that's Pitbull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love See. this boy, Pitbull. No, I think he just, like... There, that's my no, guy. And, and and his photos are just out of this planet. Oh, he's just Look cheesing. this guy. He's just cheesing. Yeah. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. AKA Stole Pitbull. Your Girl. There was, Mr. A time, <laughs> there was a time when Ethan tweeted, like, a million tweets about him. I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh, you went through a Pitbull phase? Yeah. yeah. I just love it's his... Fun. Look at his fucking face, bro. So smug. He is Mr. <laughs> the smug. The one to the right of that, I think, is a, is a Winner. You like that one? Hey, oh, yes, you like the music. Like, interestingly, Happy boy. I find him to be the most normal looking here because he's trying so hard to be like men in yeah. black. Like, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah, I yeah, could yeah. just hear him what making if, a noise I, with I like that, that one. one with the, like, move one left. Oh, that one too. Yeah. That one is that's, cr- that's, <laughs> Now that's my pit bull. R- r- rumors has it pit bull tried to remove this photo from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that's his Wikipedia photo? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, wow. what I, that's the best one they can find, like huh? like Uncle Fester, bro. Oh, man. I mean, Somebody needs to get in there and find a better photo. But I think I, I think part of the charm is that like his music is just kind of like very easy party music. It's yeah. just club anthems. Hey, I'm fit, I'm fit, but I say like there's this. no message. There's no like greater message. It's just like he has a song literally about Fireball. You Let's know, read some it's just like, lyrics. Is that is that that's please, not a metaphor? <laughs> Eric, I don't think it is. That's, that's, what's his most popular song? What's Fireball? his most popular song? Here, um, let's, let's fuck. That's a Pitbull really hard YouTube. question. Descapacito? <laughs> Neo, Time of Our Lives. That was the one that you were enjoying, right? Bro, he's got more subs than all of us, so back off, haters. He sure does. <laughs> oh my Shit. God. 10 million. We're entering, uh, like, Paul territory with this guy. Here, do, like, Let's Timber. Plays. Jesus Christ. One billion. Oh. Wow. Uh, while you're wow. making your little jokes, Eric, you want to talk about, <laughs> you want to talk about Let's Plays? He, you just got played. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. All right, so let's read the lyrics for this. I can't play it, obviously, because... Yeah, lawyers will come knocking our. But yeah, I it's think. it's going down. I'm yelling timber, which is already just a really solid start. It's go- yeah, here you know how much of this do you know? Do you need to reference this? I, I do. I actually do. That's all I know. That's, <laughs> and I didn't even get that right. What? Can you play a cover of it? Um, oh, can you get like a bad MIDI um, like compressed I'm not gonna risk it. Like, yeah, okay. with trumpets? <laughs> I actually don't know the tempo, but let's read this like it's written by Robert Frost. Ooh, it's I like going that. down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better dance. Why are you dancing? It's going down like timber. Wait. Because it's a club anthem. That wasn't the lyrics. You better dance. Well, that, <laughs> let's just pretend it's Robert Frost. There's a tree about to fall on the poor guy, and he's saying, dance? He's, you're taking the road less traveled. You know, you're, you're, you have to dance. Thank mm. you. I, I heard that. They got the frost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's going. You're about to die. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Let's make a night you won't remember. It'll be the one you won't forget. 
Yeah, that's which clever. Is, that's clever because it's kind of turning your expectations <laughs> on your head. Because may, nay, you will not remember the night, <laughs> but damn it, you'll remember the pit bull. You won't. Re- you won't forget the pit bull. The little that that second it. line has got some real gold in it too. The <laughs> biggity boys, biggity dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Miley Cyrus. Wow, I thought, you know, <laughs> this was brilliant. I thought yeah. this was Robert Frost level, but this just ascended to T.S. Eliot level. Ooh, this nice is why literary he's reference. got a billion views. This is yeah. huge. The yeah. bigger they are, the harder they fall. The biggity boy's a diggity dog. That's my new, that's my new Twitter bio that right there. That literally does it. I'm not sure that means anything. <laughs> Can you see him in his, like, in his suit in a cafe like with just a scratch pad? Absolutely. Like, yes. Because he's always wearing a suit. He's always wearing a yeah. fucking suit. In every picture of Pitbull you'll ever see, like, post-2004, he's wearing a suit. I have him like Miley Cyrus, clothes off. Got him? <laughs> Twerking in their bras and thongs. Timber. Timber. Is he still talking about his boys? <laughs> <laughs> this biggity boy's a diggity dog. Timber. Got him. Uh, Face down, booty up. Timber. What is, what is timber? It's what you call when a tree's falling. Okay. So apparently that ass is falling or his dick is... Either <laughs> crashing growing down, or crashing. Yeah. yeah, it's been well. It's going down. 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 I like the imagery of a timber along with twerking on a dick. Oh, the dick is just something's falling. <laughs> yeah, she was the biggity boys couldn't keep it up <laughs> the on that one. Boys, and then the it gets chopped dog. into little logs. I love that. I actually have no reference for what this song actually sounds like. I know it sounds so weird. Um, where were we? Face down, booty up, timber. <laughs> it is. That's the way we like it. That's the way we like the what timber. <laughs> That's just lazy writing. That's just, they're not even trying. I'm He's slicker like, than an oil spill. She says she won't, but I bet she will. Timber. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the the new, like, uh, like uh, Kobe. Kobe, you know. <laughs> Timber. Uh, Timber. <laughs> he just has to add it after every line. Oh, this is powerful. Swing your partner round and round. Turned into a do do The genre, that's the genre flipping. I love when films do that, you know, like from Dust Till Dawn. Mr. International. Yeah, he, Mr. Yeah, one, Worldwide, One actually. moment you're timbering on a twerk, yeah. and the next moment you're grabbing your partner and doing a do do Brilliant writer. <laughs> I'd honestly. like to go to a Pitbull concert so that people around Who are me they? when they're singing the lyrics, like, oh, wait a second, what, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> oh, they're not <laughs> thinking about what they're saying. Yeah. Let's be real. Those yeah. are the lyrics? I mean, you can. He's in Vegas right now. He's you wanna, yeah. What are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Pitbull, buddy. <laughs> my man. I mean, well, where's me, my watch? <laughs> It's more like a social experiment, just seeing who's there. Yeah. It is, yeah. What is the demographic? I, I want to know what the age group is. The age Here. group of people Here. that go to his let's actual type, shows. Let's type Pitbull concert. Right. Because it's You'll like, it. this is music that falls in a playlist. Like, Audience. It, it, like, Timber comes up on a Spotify playlist, but no one's ever like, I right. gotta see fucking right. Pitbull What if it's what tomorrow? What if it's all plants? What if it's like all dudes who look just like him? <laughs> Don't. Like in suits I'm sorry. Oh go, my God. They're, go they're housewives. Can we go back real quick? I'm sorry. I just noticed 178 best pit bull images <laughs> on Pinterest. <laughs> Someone fucking categorized. Should I visit this? So specific. Let's go. So specific. I what cannot believe the, the we're in such a pit bull hole right now. Uh, I feel like I could talk about this for hours. <laughs> what I'm not even boy. close to done. I hear he's going to be the next James Bond. <laughs> they're, they're considering he's... him over Idris Elba. Oh, yeah. I can see that. So he's won some awards. <laughs> biggity boy is a diggity dog. <laughs> you know what they say. It's just <laughs> the biggity boy is a diggity dog. Timber. <laughs> it's a James Bond movie, but he's still Pitbull. All right. <laughs> no, I'm Pitbull. <laughs> Save Miami, man. There's some pit bulls out there. What? There's some pit bull fans out there who are not down with this. <laughs> I, I'm sure we're pissing yeah, off. Someone's yeah. just fucking... three people They're in the so Twitch. They got one of those stress squeeze things. Like, They're oh, so You guys are just fucking jealous. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, you know what, Ethan? Don't. I used to like you, and now I'm unsubscribed. Yeah. I thought you were cool, and I agreed with you on everything until the moment you talk shit about Pitbull, and now I'm coming to your house. That's where I draw Pitbull the line. Army for, for All of a sudden, life. you find out that he actually does a lot of good in the world, and they're like, actually, Bro. Pitbull does so much charity around the world. <laughs> actually. <laughs> I'm always suspicious gonna... <laughs> of that. Like, anytime you oh, find yeah. out how many charities someone donates to, I'm like, okay, but what would you do wrong? Yeah, why, why are you, why are you so, doing that? Why do you... Like so, Bill Gates, so, yeah, got bodies. Bro. John Cena <laughs> has the world record for most um, uh, make a wish, make a wish. Smell yeah. you later. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like, if <laughs> most make a wish. You know what? That was callous. <laughs> I just said that without thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the funniest thing I've heard in weeks. <laughs> but like, it makes you wonder if he's doing all these make a wishes. 
what's Cena hiding? Yeah, you what know? is he hiding? <laughs> I like that. I like that approach to life way more than just being like, oh, he's a great guy. Yeah. Being like, what are you hiding, bro? I have no, I have no more. Do you need the world for record? You. Yeah, I'm you know? just always suspicious. Why are you so insecure? It's like when you go to New York and you go down in the subway and the guy's like, hey man, don't don't buy one of those metro tickets. I got one. You just give me a dollar and I'll let you through. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I'll buy one. I don't know what right. the fuck you have planned. Like, right. Even though it's economically a better yeah. deal, you're not going to do it. It seems like you're you're doing me a solid here, but something's mm, off. Something's Something, off. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I, I, your intuition is correct on that one, yeah. Eric. But anyways, Pitbull's great. He's you know? a, he's God great. bless him. He's a he's a musical genius. Yeah. And he does a lot of great things. Duh. And, and he's got boys. and he's got I a don't smile. Know that he does, by the way. He he's, may. Oh my God, Ela. He may be just a musical genius. That looks really good. I want to see the rest of his teeth before I make any judgments. <laughs> I only, I've only seen these. I want to see the rest of what he's got in there. All right, Pitbull, if you're listening, and I know you are, send me a picture of those teeth. Some teeth Maybe pins. it's on the Pinterest thing. I want to talk about Logan Paul. I mean, <laughs> who? Obviously, everybody, you know. But I wanted to get your guys' hot take um, about what's going on there. I mean, do you guys have any original thoughts on that? I don't mean that like. I thought he had some great points, you know. <laughs> um, no, uh, so he wants to, he wants to come back. He's ready to come back. Mm-hmm. That's that was the uh, that was the Twitter headline moment, whatever that God, what I an most recently prick. saw. Oh, um, I haven't seen that. Does he? Oh yeah. What does was he, the story? D- 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 Logan you heard is ready it. to be back. Here, let me that show was, you. There, there was actually a TMZ. TMZ. Logan that's what Paul I thought it was, deserves TMZ. a second chance. Right. He actually seems. This is really. This is good content, you guys. Don't yeah. don't snuff yet. Okay. Yeah. I this like is your, interesting stuff. I liked your post about TMZ moments. Oh, I haven't seen the video. I didn't okay, know there was so a video. This is great. By the way, and he's he's in grief right now. But it's still walking around. <laughs> grief of what? Well, his career. Oh. He's, uh, he's creeping. <laughs> but look at him. He's in full pink Maverick gear. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, bro, you wear, wear something else for no, a No, that's the grieving for color of choice. Absolutely. No, the poor, well, I feel really bad. The poor guy has to rely on his on his merch sales right now because he can't upload videos on YouTube at the moment because he's in grieving. What you a know? poor guy, man. I you know, and he can only rely on his, you know, eight-figure merch sales. I feel really bad for the kid. Um, I've yeah. heard that he makes, I mean, this is all rumor, but I believe it, three million a month in merch. God bless. That sounds about right. Honestly, like, yeah. that's. From, I'd be surprised yeah. if not more. That's what. Yeah. I'm not. That's by the way, lot. shake your dick, Playboy. Like I'm not hating. I'm mm-hmm. just more interested. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're doing something right from a business model. That's true. Mm-hmm. I, I, and that's I, I, about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's all I'll say. I think that's there's people who make just as much as as him and don't have the. Nearly the amount of notoriety that comes with. That's true. I'm just sure. The fucking bullshit that dude. You talking about entertainers or just people? Yeah, in general? like well, like even YouTube. Like I don't know, PewDiePie is probably. Oh, clearly up yeah. there. You know, but yeah. he's not fucking. He's not wearing it on. He his still sleeve. does his shit out of like his uh, his room. Right. Not that I'm blowing PewDiePie over here, but I'm, <laughs> I've been drinking this Norwegian shit, and now it's he giving is... me a little bit of a Scandinavian vibe. Yeah, so I'm, oh, I'm starting to turn around. On. <laughs> okay. How European? Um, no, like I, I definitely agree with what you're saying. Like it's. One of the things that rubs me the wrong way about this guy, even before all of the awful uh, Japan shit, was, and it goes with the other Paul too, is just their 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 attitude right. towards life. Yeah. That they have to, like living. You want to live a fuckboy lifestyle? That's cool. I get that. But when you just like scream it and rub it in other people's faces, and like like he literally in his um, end of the year recap video says the price of his mansion in his video. Like, I just bought a $6.5 million smart. dollar mansion. Like, why are you... It's going to be used against him when he tries to sell it. Why, why are you doing that? Like, <laughs> that why are you public. saying the... Like, you're, we already see the shot of the mansion no, behind like you. Everything they do is about showing... <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's the, a strange There's no money. message. It's just, I'm rich, and here's how rich I am. There's because no message behind he's it. He's selling a lifestyle, like, right? He's selling a yeah, lifestyle. But the weird thing about people like Jake and Logan Paul is that, on one hand, they're... They plug their merch merc- 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 mercilessly, mercilessly. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but at the same time, they're like, look at my Rolex, look yes. at my new car, look at my house, and also buy my merch. So on one hand, acknowledging that they are made him rich, and then on the same time, flaunting the wealth to flaunting. the people who, That's who are the word. giving him money. It's it's a weird like yeah. dichotomy. I like doing the big money salvia joke because uh, I'm not big money, 
If I ever <laughs> actually become a millionaire, you got to stop with that. I got to stop the big money thing. Cause I disagree. No, no, I say push you, it yeah, even harder. You can get away with it from like an alleyway. What I want. That's all you know. I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> from the basement. Yeah, we, behind the camera, there's like fucking police cars like blocking off street traffic, right. like a camera <laughs> right. crane doing behind the scenes. That'd be cool. And I'll just be in an alleyway. I think you should go uh, the Post Malone road. Get some braids, get some grills, <laughs> get some Gucci suit. Yeah. Just some face like, tattoos. What if some... I just got like a face, like if I had one already under the beard and like during the podcast, I just started shaving it off to reveal. Just a fucking swallow. I hate to admit it. You could pull it off, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I think you yeah, could. No one else could. Malone. It's just a, it's a beard tattoo underneath. Just, of another beard, right? It's the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. seen. It is. Um, well, at any rate, here's Logan and Griefing. And his fucking hot pink Maverick merch. Hey brother, how are you, man? How are you, man? I'm from TMZ. Good, hi. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? How are you feeling? <laughs> you feeling so so? Feeling all right? Do you think you deserve a second chance, bro? Do you think you deserve a second chance? He's so mopey. He's just so awkward. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. He's just so. Right. He's the one who took his well, headphones like, off yeah. to say hi. Here's the deal. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's right to like I'm I'm not gonna judge him in this video because he's being accosted by TMZ. It's true. And like he's he looks kind of weird and shifty. I would be weird and shifty in sure. that scenario. Sure. If people were like, you know, like he's trying to is he at the at an airport? It looks it like, looks like he's trying to get from point A to B. Like and I'm not defending you know, I, I yeah. strongly disagree with pretty much everything he stands for, but I don't think like the video yeah, the video says. Well, he the, talks. He does make a statement. He does, but like, but who's asking the question? It's TMZ. They sure. approach him with the question. So sure. of course, if it weren't for this video, he probably wouldn't even make a statement about sure, deserving course, a second of chance. Of course, of course. So that's, I'm saying. No, it's very with fair. a grain of salt. It's very fair. this whole thing. Yeah, hundred percent. That's all. With that being said, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look, nice guy. Do you deserve a second pink. chance? Would you say? Fuck this guy. Everyone deserves second chance as well. Does everyone Twitter? deserve a second chance? Okay. Probably not. I um, mean, not every, surely not everybody. You heard about these parents that lock their kids up? I don't think they deserve a I second chance. I think they've oh, had whoa, whoa, a couple whoa, whoa, whoa. of chances. I mean, he says everybody. I'm just saying, I'm taking his statement right. at point blank. Right. I think. Right. No, you're twisting his words, bro. We don't know them. You everybody. know what I mean? Like, we maybe don't know those those people. Maybe those yeah. kids sucked. <laughs> maybe they just were disappointed <laughs> oh a little God. bit. Maybe they were fine. Yeah, the fucking two year old. You know, here. like, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. I want to get into that. A little bit later. <laughs> okay, okay. I got yeah, a roadmap. we do want to talk about I can that. guarantee those kids aren't watching this, so we're fine to... <laughs> whole, yeah, yeah, yeah good. we're good. We're I good. don't think they know what computers are. They're learning. It's like a yeah. Nell situation. They were raised by wolves, apparently. Remember the movie Nell? Much. What is no. Nell? No, um, Jodie Foster, they find uh, like a feral child. Well, she's not Is it based anymore. on a true story? Somewhat. It, like, they, mm. it was a similar they situation, but they took a lot of liberties. Mm. Check out Nell, everybody. Nell. Yeah. <laughs> Shout hey. out to Nell. Just, uh, just this podcast brought to you by him. Nell. <laughs> Nell Damn. streaming right, on Hulu. Listen, let's take a quick, quick break. We'll be back. There's so much to talk about. Are you freaking kidding me? If you're mm -hmm. thinking about leaving, why? Why? Mm, there's don't there's do Logan it. Paul. There's Stupid decision. There's Ember. <laughs> there's bats. You're going to. I'm going to tell Ethan about how I got red pilled. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you boof that red pill or was it oral? It's a big pill, dude. <laughs> Let me just say it's a big pill. All right, I can't I, they didn't about tell it. me that. Mm. All right, so guys, stay tuned. We will be right back with all kinds of boofs. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Thank you to Hims for sponsoring this episode of the H Street Podcast. This is not a problem that I am fortunate to say I don't struggle with, but I have friends who suffer from baldness, and I know from them that it's not easy. Okay, it's tough out there to wake up your. Hairline is receding, and you wonder, why has life dealt me this hand? I personally think it looks distinguished. I think if your hairline's receding, you're, you look like Bruce Willis. <laughs> he made that cool. You could be an action hero. <laughs> People with my hair aren't action heroes, so don't feel that bad. But if you do feel bad about it and you want to do something about it, guess what? Now you can, okay? Hymns, my friends. Hymns is what the flip is up. Most men are too embarrassed, too shy, or too just straight up poor to go to a doctor and talk to them about hair loss. So here's the deal. Forhims.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skincare, sexual wellness. What? <laughs> you could fix my penis too? <laughs> for men. Medical-grade solutions, real doctors offering well-known generic equivalents to name-brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair, my friends. This is not herbal supplement. Supplements? Supplements. Supplements. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Prescription solutions backed by science. This is the real deal, okay? 
No waiting rooms, no awkward, awkward doctor visits. Save hours by going to 4 You answer a few questions, and an actual doctor will review and prescribe you the medicine you need to keep that luscious, beautiful mane on your head. Okay? Now, it goes directly to your dang door. These are good people. I talked with the co-founder directly. He seems like a great guy. He just wants to help guys keep their hair and their, you know, dicks hard. That's a great mission statement. Keep your hair keep your hair fluffy and your dick's hard. That's their slogan. If it's not yet, it will be after this. Okay. Now order now. This deal is insane. For our listeners, you get a free trial of everything you need to keep your hair for just five dollars today. Right now, while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you were to go to a doctor, get the prescription, forget about the time. Okay? By the time you do all this, your hair is completely out. You're bald. All right. So go to forhims.com slash H3. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash H3 for him slash H3. Guys, it's all uphill from here. Uh, downhill. Not uphill, downhill. Eli, how important it's is hair to you? It's all a straight line. Um, how's what? How important is hair to you? It's important. Okay. Very important. There you heard it here. But you're but Bruce I'm, Willis. I'm, yeah. You can Bruce look like, Willis looks good. Yeah, he's good. Well, all right, tone it down. <laughs> now I'm getting jealous. You see, I'm jealous of a bald man. It's not that big of a deal. All right, moving on. Wait, but we have a little demonstration. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. I completely forgot. <laughs> if you guys want to know what this product can really do for you, let me introduce you to our producer. He is formerly known as Dan and now known as Ace. Now he's Dennis Willis. Come on, come on. Show the people... This is what you will look like after one day of use. Yeah, it's just been a few, 24 hours, less than 24, I think. Yeah, so guys, <laughs> trust me, with 4 slash H3, all your dreams will come true. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank Got you. Right. Anytime. All right, and I don't know what's going on with the sexual wellness, but he's been acting. <laughs> he's, he's super hard, apparently. All right, next up, thank you to Bull and Branch. Listen, I hate shopping for linens. Oh I hate shopping for linens. It's so annoying. Like going to Macy's and it's like, oh, I'm some middle-aged woman who, uh, whatever. And you get home and it's shit. I hate shopping for linen because it's so important to get a good linen. You know? You know, uh, we, uh, we're not going to all agree on everything, but I'll tell you what we can agree on. We need more sleep. Getting a good night's sleep is easier and more affordable than you think. You don't need a new expensive mattress or new scientifically advanced NASA pillows like everyone's trying to sell these days. All you need is to change your sheets. That's why you need to check out Bowl and Branch. Everything Bowl and Branch makes from bedding to blankets is made pure 100 organic cotton, which means they start out super soft. And guess what? They what? get softer oh my God. with every wash. <laughs> what? <laughs> You buy directly from them, so you're essentially paying wholesale prices. Luxury sheets can cost up to a thousand dollars. They, I don't, you know what they wrote that luxury it's sheets. It's true. Really? Yeah. No, the sheets can get really expensive. God forbid the poor son of a it's bitch. It's like the last thing you want to spend money on, and it, it's right. really expensive. But if you get a good pair, it lasts you forever. Yeah. And you love it. You know. And so apparently, there's some sorry sons of bitches spending a thousand dollars. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> apparently they're out there. But Bowl and Branch sheets are only a couple hundred bucks for the same quality. Orgas you roll in these and you orgasm. <laughs> take a couple of hymns, take a roll in some Bowl and Branch, <laughs> and you'll be, pff, let me tell you, dude, life is going to be good. You'll be balling. You'll be balling. Bowl and Branch and ball. <laughs> and hair on your balls, too? Forget about it. <laughs> Everyone who tries Bowling Branch sheets loves them. That's why they have thousands of five-star reviews, and Forbes, The Wall Street Journal, Fast, and Fast Company are all talking about Bowling Branch. Although, I wonder what Goop thinks about Bowling Branch. <laughs> what did Oprah say? I wonder, what, I wonder, yeah, I really do wonder what Oprah said about it. I'll look into that. I think it's great. Full disclaimer, I haven't received ours yet, but I can't wait. And I can't wait to... Rolling them, and I'm going to give you guys a full review of it next time. It sounds amazing. Even, apparently, three U.S. presidents sleep on Bowling Branch sheets. They didn't say which ones, though. Hmm. It's probably the shit ones, because they would have said their names <laughs> if they were the good ones. 
Shipping is free. You can try them for 30 nights. If you don't love them, send them back for a refund. But I doubt you're going to want to send it back because it's Bowl and Branch. And you're going to be balling in this Bowl and Branch. There's no risk. There's no reason to not give them a try. If you need sheets, it's a no-brainer. Go to bowlandbranch.com. Use promo code H3. It's a no-brainer, my friends. You get $50 off your first set. And if you don't like it, you send it back. It's a no-brainer. That's B-O-L-L and branch.com. Promo code H3. Get 50 massive clams out of the price. Promo code H3. Thank you to their sponsors, guys. If you are in the market for any of those products, consider picking them up and helping support the show. Let's get right back into the news. Guys, welcome back to the H3 Podcast. We were talking about Logan Paul and his fresh pink Maverick merch. Guys, where the flip were we? Let's go. Well, we we did watch it. I don't know that this. Well, he didn't say. Wait, did we see everything? You, he said everyone deserves a second chance. From what's yeah. transpired recently, everything, so many things. Yeah, so many things. Do you, By do the you way, think this, you... this 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 pink uh, merch is available at. Be a booth dot net <laughs> or whatever. Did they touch up this video after? Because he looks like a fucking ghost. I don't think so. He I think it's just shit lighting. I think pale. it's like overcast. And... Is that yeah? Is that LAX? He looks like I he never was. Take I think photos he was there. having a couple of gotta, good cry. I gotta agree with with what you said. You though. think where this is inappropriate? He's in the airport. Like, I feel like shit when I'm in the airport, and I probably look like shit too. So <laughs> okay, fair enough. Listen. We have a Logan it's Paul. It's the airport. It's yeah. like you're it's right, a you're nightmare. Right. This is completely unfair. <laughs> we have a Logan Paul fan on the line who wants to defend who thinks we've been inconsiderate. Yeah. Okay. So in the right. spirit of fairness and I just hearing all sides, I want to bring Jordan here so that he can basically argue for, you know on on Logan's side. So All right. Um Jordan, are you with us? Hello. <laughs> watch, watch your sorry, life. sorry. Uh, I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh. Here. What's your name? It's okay. Uh, my name is Jordan. I'm from Ohio, about 11 and a half years old. Uh, just turned. And uh, I've been watching your live telecast here, and uh, I think you've been saying a lot of slanderous, uh, borderline libelous things about uh, Logan Paul. Well, I don't think that I've slandered <laughs> and, uh, him. Why do you think I've slandered him? Well, I'm gonna. Well, hold on, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna wait, hold on, Jordan. Wait, I, I did write a blog post wait. where I slandered him really hard. Wait, wait, wait. wait you shut First the, of all, Jordan, that language is not appropriate. How old are you? Well, I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> oh, Jordan, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you a piece, and I'm gonna give you, and I'm gonna say something else right now. Because it's this. I'm, now I'm gonna read something that you wrote down about Logan Paul. You said, "quote, haha." Quote, ha ha, he laughed at somebody hanging. Not cool. Now, uh, now go ahead and explain yourself there, sir. Well, I said, well, I don't recall where I wrote that or what I said, but Logan did. I, I, see, I, I see that I see that online, and you said it, and it's described to your, your personality, your name, your likeness. Well, well, Logan did take a picture with a corpse in the forest. You're aware of that, right? So what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I just say, well, I think it's very impressive. I hate the burst your bubble there, sir. I know all you coastal elites don't think people die, but here in Ohio, we <laughs> see people die every day. So oh. not, yeah, but, yeah, oh, but, don't, don't, <laughs> but don't you think it's trivializing suicide to go and use them as like a prop in a vlog and put them in the thumbnail and to just kind of use a body to get views? Don't you think that's a little inappropriate? Do you have any problem with that? The, uh... <laughs> hey kid, what's your what's your what's your favorite crypto? What's your favorite crypto? What's your favorite crypto? I had. Well, I'll tell you something right now. I had. I, I invested heavily. I stole my parents' purses. Uh, I have two moms. That's okay. It's 2018. That, that's okay now. But I stole both of their purses, and I'll tell you what I did with that money. I immediately went to it's my favorite guest. Who, who is this? Who is this guy? Five thousand dollars, U.S. dollars. Jordan, what the? I don't know what the hell you're on, man. You gotta get. I don't know, man. Jordan, what do you want to be when you grow up? Talk to your parents. I don't know, man. Are you for real? Are you? And I just want to say one last. And I, and I, yeah, absolutely, sir. Are you for fucking really? Son of a bitch. And I'll tell you something else. And I'll say one last thing. 
and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to alert the FBI or any kind of uh, federal federal uh, federal agency, but I just want to say this. Mm-hmm. I do have about 0.5 bitcoins to my name, Ooh. and I will pay I will pay all of that if somebody can. And I'm not making a threat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I dropped it. Oh that was getting too much. That was too much. I'm oh not making a threat. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want. <laughs> You know hey, Jordan, you gotta you gotta work on your not making on. a threat skills. I just I dropped that. That was getting too much. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, glorious. Thank, Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. I don't know if that kid was for real. I think what, he brought but... up some some excellent points. Though. He did. He really I mean, he really did. So what was a powerful know, counter argument? Right? People die every day, you know, and that's just what do we know? And, We're just bi coastal, yeah. you know, right. frauds. Um, and it was a smart kid. Um, what nine year old for knowing slanderous and, eleven and, 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 and libelous. also eleven and a half. It, those okay. years count a lot. Okay, he, he yeah, accused yeah. us of being coastal like hacks, but the, he mm-hmm. also had mentioned that he has two moms. I mean, that's pretty progressive. For, yeah, good for well, him in Ohio, know? nonetheless. Well, I don't know. That kid was a fucking weirdo. Hopefully, we'll hear back <laughs> wow. anymore. No, I like them. I think you should get him on the show. That's some great points. Jordan, if you're out there, drop me an email and we'll yeah. figure something out. I'm just, out. I'm yeah. happy Logan did it, if I'm honest, because he really jumped on that. Because who would have thought that filming a dead body in a suicide forest would get you in trouble? Yeah. I was about to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. I had, I had it all he lined up. The for us. I wrote a 10 page script about it. Mm. And <laughs> I, that video came out and I was like, oh, do you no, think, this, I, I get in too. trouble. Do you think Sorry, there's man. a parallel universe where everyone was just like, it went under the radar? And nobody cared about it because mm. Logan and Jake do a lot of horrible shit, or not horrible, but they're really rude no, and considerate. Yeah, and like all the shit he done in his Japan vlog that was awful. Exactly, yeah. would have gone completely. I thought that was worse. Unchecked. I I, I agree. Yeah. The, the fucking. But I didn't know about it until We the Unicorns exactly. uh, tweeted it yeah. and made that viral exactly. video or uh, compilation <laughs> it was edit. Insane. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's a really really good so point. In, in a parallel universe, it almost could have just gone completely yes. unchecked. But That's something true. else would have blown up. Mayhaps Eventually. the uh, the the. The um the assassination the fake assassination that Logan See, that did in front long, of the kids. That was the old one. I right. never exactly. seen that. I didn't know that until yeah. all this Japan shit happened. Exactly. Oh, so. I remember watching that one actually when it came out. Really. And I was like, we thought about God. making a video, but we're just I don't know why we didn't. Look, if we, I was I in know, eleven. But, oh, sorry. No, it's. I was just gonna say it's like. Everything they do is so weird because their fans are kids. Their yeah. fans are kids, but, yeah. but they fans... act like not. Like he's saying, like let's get bitches in his videos. Right, like, and they're like they're not like, Kobe. no, they're not like thirteen year old kids. They're like eight year olds. They're it's... eight. There's like a music video that um, Jake did a while back um, with all of his fans, and they're like these little. They're like. They're 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 kids, mm-hmm. and he's talking about you know bitches and yeah. blah blah blah, and it doesn't make any sense. Like if you're <laughs> so fifteen, weird. yeah, I get that because it's like edgy like culture. Eight nine ten. But you're eight nine ten. Yeah, that do I don't the, get. What do you think the age is where like a kid? Like clicks on a Logan Paul video, and is like, Man, you know what? I don't, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> seventeen. Too old for this now. I'm gonna yeah. say 17? seventeen. I don't know. Oh, seems, fuck, that's yeah. old. But fifteen like, should uh, in, in a perfect world. Oh, I think fifteen no, year olds love him. Yeah, I think fifteen year olds love. Him. I think there is going <clears> to be a point in all their lives inevitably where they're like, wait, hold on, fuck, wait. Fuck this Absolutely. Guy. No, there's gonna be a cutoff point. And then that's when they become fans of, our, yeah. of ours. Yeah, this guy's not even <laughs> that funny. We can hope. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I think he's actually hilarious. <laughs> Have you heard his stand up? <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. Serious? Yeah, okay, you got me. Dead he's serious. Good. He's like, <laughs> no. I, Man, I was no. walking through the forest the no, other day. No, does he have stand up? No, oh, but okay. I kind of wish he did. Just so we could watch it. Love to stand up. <laughs> yeah. We should right? talk. These, but they're so, they have such confidence levels that they can do anything. Because all you need in life is confidence and ignorance, and success is assured. And cuteness. That's brilliant. So all you need to good looking boys. That's a Mark Swain quote. I didn't make that up. Oh, really? I was going to say, that was pretty heady for you. No, no, no. offense. Yeah, You're a smart guy. You just drop be... that. No. Yeah. Uh, but have you seen his. I mean, like, he's a 22 year old with a comb over. He's 22? Yeah. That, that, see, this that's, fucking guy was yeah. 30. That's another Me too. twist. Yeah. I feel really? younger now. <laughs> that's another twist because it's, it's easy to forget how young they're. When I was 22, I was a fucking idiot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I had that level of success at 22, I would be. I would be. Do you know how many Unhelpable. dead bodies I filmed when I was 22? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Many? yeah. Countless. <laughs> right, right. Countless. Lost track. Yeah, no, I, I lost the you. tapes. I believe it. <laughs> luckily, when we... I sold some. When I was 22, luckily, I don't even think YouTube barely existed, so... Yeah. I didn't even yeah. have an incentive to, like, murder people and film their corpses. <laughs> right, I right, don't know right. why Jake, I can understand that he's young, but Logan just doesn't connect with, to me in my head with the age of 22. 22. It's like... I cannot. I feel like maybe he like fakes his age. <laughs> oh. oh! I heard a conspiracy theory, a really good one from yes. Ian from Smosh. He said Logan is going to take this time off to get hair transplants. 
Okay, time out. Is he, <laughs> yeah. when you when you briefly mentioned the comb over. You don't think he's bald? Let me show you. Because I've never seen this before. I thought he had luscious locks of it. Of this uh, stuff. Okay, so here. That's, sh- that's truly horrific to here, you're have gonna that rumor about you as a 22-year-old man. Oh, God. And I don't mean to make, by the way, go to hymns.com, for hymns.com slash h3. Right. Oh, it's oh boy, sponsor. that is an unflattering okay. photo. It is, yeah, it's probably the worst <laughs> photo oh my God. ever imaginable. It's not helping that he's elongating his face <laughs> yeah. with, that, no. with that fucking no, face no, he's right. doing. Just enlarging the, 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 the forehead. He's the, definitely... Look, that. it's okay to laugh about how he looks because he's so... He's so if it were anyone right. else, I'd feel really yeah, bad. Yeah, I wouldn't do this to anyone. But he's pretty terrible, so. Um, but also, he's, like, so confident. He he knows that everyone wants to fuck him. He knows that he's rich. It's punching up. The guy, he's got a huge ego. Look at his hairline. Right. There is a tad justice that, in the That world, is the, the thing smidgen. that people shoot for. Like, uh, like, you know, just, I think, with anything. Like, people make fun of my looks all the time. I don't get it. Yeah, sure. I think I'm a pretty dapper young man. Oh, that That's makes smart. two of I'm, us. I'm 22. Yeah. You know, I'm looking better than he is. Yeah, Damn yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. a 22-year-old. It all just falls out in my hand. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh, shit. Um, this shit. I should make this the thumbnail. So, no, oh. let's not. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, was that too far? Sorry. I'll close too it now. Too it's, a, it's a bit body <laughs> shaming. Too soon. There's another one. Oh, no, that one's worse. That might mm. be photoshopped. <laughs> That's not. It's bro. not. It's oh, real. It's fucking. It's serious as a heart attack. Well, see, no, just embrace it. Oh, you this know? is from our subreddit. Look, <laughs> oh, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great people. Well, we oh, what did you call karma? If you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna exploit dead bodies, you're gonna go bald. Yeah. I think that's a fair punishment. I think you should go goth. <laughs> yeah. Do like a pinhead thing. Shave it all Ooh. off. Hey, hey, kids, welcome to the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat your <laughs> soul. I don't don't know give him why. ideas, man. He'll make all these kids goths. Isn't it Jordan? weird Bring that he's 22, Jordan. though? Can you agree that it's so... <laughs> I, I just... What, just, just like, he, feel, yeah. he feels and sounds and looks older. Yeah. That's weird. The, the, hmm. the idea of somebody sifting frame through frame of his videos looking for his yeah. receding hairline. Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. There it is. There's something all there. Right. All right. But... I guess he does. Yeah, I am surprised. <laughs> I think the first time I heard that he was twenty-two, I was very surprised. Yeah. He does seem older. Like he just—he just looks like an older guy. But hey, God you know? bless. God bless. But God bless. All right, let's move it on. Yeah. Enough about Logan. We'll pop back in. Yeah, we'll, we'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll do a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. A cheers. A cheers. Yeah, still got some. I really don't mind this this whiskey. I gotta tell you, I think it's got a bad rap. I t- Whiskey? Is it whiskey? It's I not it's whiskey. Just, it's a type of Wait, beer. I honestly don't know what it is. We don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, you said your your, your I dad don't know knows, what right? it's. Yeah, I don't know what it's made from. It kind of tastes like caraway seeds a little bit. Oh, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> they didn't even say. No, they don't. I Danny, love you, but Danny's I'm gonna have asking, to, what is after this, I'm going to move on to the app. I would, just yeah, I, need that I think I, I will too. Yeah, you'll yeah. partake? I'll take All right, it. let's dump this out. Let's give it to Ian. <laughs> <laughs> so the Ian, next, get in here and chuck the this. The next story, I want to lighten it up a little bit. Uh-huh. You guys probably heard about the Paris couple <laughs> ah, nice and who nice. has 12 kids. Um, Ages, what, 2 to 29? Yeah, the kids? 29? Yeah. So the yeah. And yeah. fucking chains in their basement. That's a Logan Paul and a half. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I'm doing the math on that. <laughs> not yeah, quite. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't add up. Turning. Yeah. yeah. Not quite. yeah. <laughs> Took me a minute. Almost. It's Logan Paul in a quarter. I don't know why. We I don't have to dwell. I didn't really need to. Look, can I just say? Fact check that. Look, everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> Everybody. Okay? No Everybody. exceptions. Yeah. Uh, Austin Logan. Jack. 16. It's yeah. funny. Logan can't say anything now without. <laughs> It's like quoting him to death. <laughs> I hate that. You know, I, right? It's 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 win win for him. You know, like yeah. But um, okay, yeah. This is well, very let's, disgusting. Let's watch the report here. Yeah. So by the way, the alcohol then said it's its own thing, but it's similar to vodka. Mm. What? Oh, you looked it up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's so, similar to vodka. Similar to Uh-oh. vodka. Vodka. So? That's wait, my fighting booze. You guys want pizza? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm okay. But, well, you guys don't let me. Oh, actually, yeah. I brought half a Cuban sandwich. Okay. Well, but pizza, okay. you want pizza? <laughs> nope. Ethan not always by myself. Pizza. Not by myself. I will not go down that oh, path. I'll alone. share my Cuban You're sandwich. You're a social with you. eater, a social pizza eater. I. He's dude, just a pizza eating eater. Eating pizza alone is is, is sadder than <laughs> drinking alone. I've never that. thought of it I that way. way sadder. <laughs> I don't. I disagree, but I get what you are saying. I like leftovers. Yeah. When I get them, pizza to me is like rock bottom. I don't know. That guy's an already fat guy. Pizza is rock bottom for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, when, you ever had that they, vegan pizza? It's delicious. It's not bad. 
That's, uh, can you eat the box it comes in? Sure can. <laughs> Made out of plant fibers. <laughs> I, I seriously just, don't hate vegan pizza. No, I don't hate it. No, but no. Pizza's it's, like sex. When it's when it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Oh, my man. <laughs> hey, oh, timber. <laughs> timber. <laughs> it's going down. Biggity big, the doggy dog. Whatever the fuck that line my is. My biggity boys are doggity dogs. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, warmer. they're twerking <laughs> like Miley Cyrus anyway, with the guys, thongs on. Come on, let's let's line up. I'm sorry. Oh right, right, right. Okay. right, right. I forgot the horror family. Down in it's Riverside, twelve kids were tortured. Captive Is this not the plot that people under the stairs? The district... Where's the laugh track on this? <laughs> <laughs> it's already shitting on it. <laughs> this woman's on screen. Let's hit her up. Attorney called the couple's conduct depraved. This is severe. Okay. Oh, First of all, fuck. that fucking haircut is Logan all you Paul's need to know. Logan Paul's got to hit that guy up. He just he <laughs> looks <laughs> like the kind of guy that would imprison his kids. Like I like I know they always say Seriously. don't judge a book by its cover. Let me find a picture. But <laughs> that's how they look caught at him. him, dude. That guy walked into like a, a gas station and the clerk called nine one one immediately. That's right. Was that's like, right. Hey, that, uh, that I got a guy here. who Definitely has here, twelve kids <laughs> hostage like, in his basement. You can tell. Trying to find a picture of the goddamn. Okay, here. There it is. There's so, a really flattering so, pic. Like, oof. You know when, like, they say when you see a suspicious behavior, you need to call the FBI or whatever. Yeah. The fact that his barber didn't dial the FBI <laughs> immediately. He looks like a Tim I and think Eric extra. Yeah. He really does. He looks like the guy you'd see in a Tim and Eric sketch. That's a hair that says I have my cha- my kids chained up in the it, basement. It kind of is. I can already tell Jeffrey Tambor is going to play him in the Lifetime original Bro, I was movie. just thinking that on the way over here. I was like, give it six months and there'll be a movie yeah. about this. Yeah. Ooh. Jeffrey Tambor, that's a dead yeah. dead ringer. You put those family in the 9-11 towers the day that it happened and you got yourself a Hallmark classic. What? Wait a second. <laughs> the basement of Where the, the that come Center. From? I'm just saying, you combine all the okay. inappropriate the straight yeah. to movie right. classics. It's like got that. all the beats. With, with a laugh track. Don't forget the laugh Lots track. Lots of laughter. You know? What about a screen because track? You need it all. A screen track? Yeah. You can so do you a screen track. So you know when to be alarmed. So you know when to be like offended. They should alarmed. do that for, for scarier shows. Oh but my god, patent that. People like, oh! That's fucking hilarious. Don't go in there! Right, well yeah, that's... Um, do you know what my first thought was though? And it was kind of heartwarming. I thought to myself, you know what? If this isn't proof that there's somebody for everyone, I don't know what is. True. Yeah. What a what like, a nice. What take are the on chances that. that two people could meet in life and say, "Let's have twelve kids and torture them and keep them right. locked up and chain them up"? I think no, they met on it's plenty impossible. of farmers. It's like the so odds that. are nothing. I'm saying love is out there for everybody. If you are single, mark my words. There is someone for you. <laughs> this is proof. This is absolute physical proof. Two people yeah. were brought together in love this planet. Love is real. Yeah. Love is real. Yeah. Everyone's got one. I like, want to make 12 <laughs> babies with you and hide them in the basement. <laughs> By the way, I was wondering, like, why did you keep having kids if you clearly hate them that much? They said God God told them to. Oh, so. man. So oh, those well, those kids are just it, out, man. huh? Like, they're going to... There's going to be so many crazy interviews with those kids. Oh, those poor yeah. kids. They had apparently This journal. is seriously one of the most horrible stories oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. I've ever heard Especially of. Especially the 29-year-old. Dan like, hit that's the left a third track. of your yeah. life gone. And and God. the 29-year-old <laughs> weighs like laughing. 80 pounds. I did hear that. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, these guys should be locked away for. Forever. Well, they're like, they're like, they can be charged with life in prison. I'm like, what is the other option? Right. <laughs> yeah. Or that's sh- yeah. that needs to be the only uh, option. The, there Community is service. like an eight no million stuff. dollar bail on each one of them. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, guys. Why are you even giving Warren Buffett the option to knock these guys out? <laughs> oh, man. What if Warren Buffett was like, ah, you know what? I'm... <laughs> I have to say yeah. that the, their crimes were greatly exaggerated. I don't know if that's how Warren Buffett sounds. This yeah, dude's yeah. rock Sorry. band producer haircut is really speaking to me. I'm going to let him out. That, yeah. Ty Lopez. <laughs> Ty Lopez. <laughs> Who's most likely to bail these guys out at $9 million? Uh, maybe Shkreli. uh maybe Pitbull. Shkreli. Pitbull. Shkreli. he's in prison man yeah. oh yeah he can't he can't do it do you, oh, yeah. can i just say to, to just acknowledge the fact that you, when last time you were here eric mm-hmm. or it wasn't the last time but we were here together yeah. Screlly called in yeah. after they found out he's like i just made 20 million bucks and i'm only gonna have get three months in prison he was bragging about it since that day the or no it was the hillary clinton threat but i'm almost certain that the what he said in our podcast was used to get him against him in court. I, it has to be. I think that yeah. him bragging on our podcast. He didn't just was, do it here. Was used as evidence against him to lock him up. He he like he dropped a, just a couple little morsels on this podcast, but he was just live streaming. He invited a reporter mm. up to his apartment. Yeah. He got very what a lunatic. Very talky. 
for a guy who just like, got found guilty. Like cocky, kind of. Yeah, I like Why cockiness. Not it down? Fatal Man, flaw, you know? It definitely is a flaw. It's got to be some sort of um, behavioral thing. I don't think I he's don't a bad guy. I have some sympathy for the guy in a weird way. I mean, if yeah. the guy's got a problem where he just can't stop fucking with himself in mm. that way, like that definitely is a behavioral like issue. Extremely, self-destructive, but also extremely capable. Yeah. It's a weird thing. It's a a weird savant. Combo. But yeah, he's got he's got quirks that get yeah. him in trouble a lot, Are like people, Ponzi schemes. No, well, he likes being like the evil guy, right? like, yeah. like, like in a comic book, yeah. like that. The attention, the the light on him, yeah, spotlight. I think he just embraced it because he knew there was no getting away from it. You think he knew who was going down? No, I, I think he just knew people were going to think he was a dickhead, so he was like, he "All right, I'm going to be." Yeah. But he tried to use it in a way that would yeah, get yeah. people on his side. He did though. It a did, lot of yeah. people did yeah. start it to did. like him a lot. It did yeah. work. Um, like anytime you make fun of him, there's always one guy who's like, "But whoa, whoa hang on a no, second. No, there's a lot. Not even one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like five guys who yeah. all <laughs> yeah. group up. And they're like, "But did He's you know?" He's misunderstood. And right. you and the, and it's always like, "I can't believe you buy the media's narrative." Yeah. It's like, "Well, he's in prison for I fraud." I mean, the guy's a he's he's kind of a jerk. He was kind of a jerk to people. He is kind of a jerk. Like, anyway, like uh, anyway, speaking Emotional. of jerks, am I right? Speaking of jerks, am I right? Yeah, this guy's a real jerk. Timber. <laughs> this guy's a, this guy gonna... is such a dick. <laughs> Physical abuse. There's this no way around a dick. I want a lock Megan of his hair. Megan and went before a judge for the first time since their arrest Monday, pleading not guilty to the torture. I love they plead not guilty. What is that? Right, how? How, how do you like... <laughs> oh, oh, we didn't do it. What's the we defense? Mean to. The kids yeah. had fun. It wasn't torture. There it is. Yeah, that's how you spin <laughs> it. Uh, that's the old family of five, uh, daddy of five <laughs> yeah. defense. They were in oh, on it. It's a prank. He had a great tweet the other day. Um, he was... he he And he tried to like... I saw that. You saw that, right? Franco went in. Oh, we oh, wow. did. I didn't see Phil yeah. going, but like, yeah, like talk. He was trying to like um, bring himself back into the spotlight using the whole Logan Paul thing right. as an excuse. Oh yeah, like shut the fuck up, dude. Mm -hmm. Like you're you're hardly better, bro. The ink that's on your career isn't disappearing, right? Got him, <laughs> Got Timber. Him. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> um, I wonder what this guy's YouTube channel would be like. I was just thinking that's the only thing that's missing Dungeon from the twelve. Story. You know, what's scary. With 12. We might find out. That's the only thing missing from the story is a YouTube channel. Abuse and neglect of their 13 Your Honor, it was a long prank. The Riverside County District Attorney <laughs> told reporters the horrific abuse went on for years. Oh, that haircut. Like and lasted for weeks or months at I hope the time. first thing his lawyer said was, look, we're going to get you to a haircut. <laughs> God told me to get a fucking Brady Bunch mullet. <laughs> the, the ropes, uh, these defendants eventually began using chains and padlocks. To chain up sweet people, the victims yeah. to their beds. Great cuts. The victims were bro. They did. Whoa. I heard this story. Whoa. God, this player is so annoying. What is it? They had a. Um, they renewed their vows, and had all their family, and had, they all had the same haircut. Uh, and they met all their kids there when they renewed their vows. It's a sick twist. It is deeply broken mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minds. Yeah. Both yeah. of them mm. together. True Fucking love. <laughs> Love. They loved each other so much yeah. that they went to Hawaii, brought their whole family to renew their vows. It's that had to have been, uh, and got the same haircut. Yeah, <laughs> you guys all saw the movie Room, right? The Room? No, just Room. Just Room. I didn't know. Is that like I Cube where that. they're stuck and they go to room to room? Uh, without spoiling it, it is about uh, a kid who grows up. I mean, I guess it's similar enough to this. It's a kid yeah. who grows up in like a single room. And you, uh, there's like a lot of very tense scenes. I wish you guys had seen it because now I'm sort of. I have not seen I, it. I really don't want to spoil it. What are you it. talking about? Uh, okay, <laughs> spoiler alert. Everybody go watch go Room. Ahead. Go ahead. It's a great movie. It is? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic movie. I uh, I cried. I cried watching it. Oh. All right. This is... oh, sometimes they, they get you. <laughs> the Room, guys, if you're looking for a good cry. Yeah. Cry. What, what, so is there a haircut or involved or what's the. There is a haircut. Mm. There's a haircut. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a big spoiler. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucked up already. I'm sorry, you guys. Shit. Bleep that out, Dan. Bleep, bleep me out. Bleep everything I say. They look like a big happy family. Yeah, with those big blurs on. Yeah, you can't even tell their size. Yo, what if the kids lied? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Those fucking kids. Can I throw a conspiracy? Uh, out there? That's actually <laughs> don't horrible. worry. Because people are gonna actually. Oh yeah, they will. Yeah. Somebody might yeah. actually. Those kids just did like the ultimate parent trap. You <laughs> 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 know what? Remember parent, parent trap? They chained themselves. They shit all over the floor. <laughs> they don't shower for like the months. Like, what the fuck are you kids <laughs> doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hit the hit the laugh track, Dan. <sighs> we don't have it. Escaped through a window and called nine one one. 
Another sibling also escaped, but out of fear, turned back. The home so foul, police <coughs> wore protective gear to go inside. Yeah, it's very By the way, the, the kid that managed to escape must be a hero. Oh, yeah. Cause oh, I hope so. To escape it must have been so, so difficult. Back. Yeah. That's fucking horrifying. Oh, God. So where is Paris? Like, like it's, it was in, in Riverside, California. Riverside, California. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Close to home. Yeah. Could be anywhere. Yeah. Or yeah. Riverside. <laughs> Specifically well, Riverside. Riverside. I think Riverside. Have you been to Riverside? I'm not surprised. Yeah. Not a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> they got like one IHOP. One IHOP. That's it. That's it? Not surprised. Yeah. Nah, not much. <laughs> not much to do. <laughs> Might just right, pass. I don't know if that we need to keep watching this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but at the same time, do we? I had no idea what the guy looked like. <laughs> do we? Do you think they feel remorse? Do you think they feel like sorry or just Definitely sorry that not. they got caught? Yeah. They pleaded not guilty for Christ's sake. Good point. I would love for Good them point. to like, like you know, they, they finally meet after the trial's over and they're found guilty and they're sentenced to life in prison. They're like, why the fuck did we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have just had kids. We could have done it like the what nice, normal way. Mm. Nah, we fucked up, Martha. <laughs> Where did we go wrong? We really should have done that. Huh. Huh. You know, everyone deserves a second chance. That's <laughs> amen to that. All you know, they want I'll is a slam to that. They were saying that they were like, first of all, not feeding them. They would have pie. And tasty treats yeah. and taunt and them with the food. Oh my god, these people are. Fun. And they Why would, would, you have they would kids? make them sleep during the day and be up at night. And like, I... the psychology of that yeah. is oh so god. deep and dark. Because, like, in a way, your kids are you, right? And so, by having kids specifically to torture them, it's like you're torturing yourself. Yeah. So Definitely something happened with of abuse from the parents. Oh my god. Like, the, oh, the, like that what the fuck happened to that guy when he was yeah. a kid? This yeah. is just some deep Are you dark trying to shit. justify what the parents did? <laughs> no, you're man, disgusting. I'm, just, you know, I'm, I'm interested in like the human mind, man. Like man. Yeah, ever since I got red pilled, I've been like, <laughs> Oh, tell me about the yeah, red pill. Yeah, tell us about the oh, red pill. Oh, it was great. Good dude. segue. <laughs> I, I uh it's a giant pill. It was a daytime. You gotta day take pill. it up the ass. <laughs> and it's red. And the blue pill's a lot smaller. Yeah. And you can just swallow that one. <laughs> but but the where's the fun pill? in that? <laughs> yeah, it's different because it makes you kind of so there's pussy. No sore. So now my beard's big. <laughs> I'm getting good gains. You got red pilled, man. You, you just red pilled me, shit. bro. I'm red pill all you guys after the show. <laughs> Please. Well, right. Ethan, you red pill healer, and I'll, I'll red pill you too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's take a quick break. After the guys, everybody, get your red pills out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make, get ready to insert them because we are back. We have so much to talk about. I'm getting drunk. I'm ready to say some racist shit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it takes to ruin my career. <laughs> yeah. As is tradition with you guys. <laughs> Can't fucking wait. I got a whole list of stuff. Yeah. Um, I, Eric had some great bits about immigration and maybe it wasn't yeah. that bad. Some of a real guy. hot takes. Uh, real I hot had takes. an idea for a rhino death lottery. Sure. <laughs> what? We do it. We do a death lottery, but it's Trample rhinos. The death. Yeah, like like the endangered you were, rhinos. You were saying some things about like the the numbers of the Holocaust were greatly exaggerated. That, yeah. that interested me backstage. I I you know I'd love to. Jump into that. We're going to get into all that yeah. stuff when we get back from these messages. By the way, these are not endorsed by our sponsors. Oh, right. That these was messages bad. are not endorsed or by our ourselves. Or by ourselves. Or by ourselves. Or by ourselves. Yeah. By ourselves. Really, anyone decent. <laughs> okay, my friends, do not go away or you're nuts because the entertainment is off the chain. See you guys soon. I love Quip. And thank you to Quip for sponsoring us. My friends, your mouth is disgusting. Don't even pretend like you brush your teeth enough because you don't. And if you do, you don't do a good enough job. Here, I dare you to do this. Bl blow in your hand right now and smell it. Ah! That's probably what you'll be doing. I don't. Guess why? I use Quip. <laughs> this is the greatest toothbrush ever made. If Elon Musk made a toothbrush, this would be it. He didn't. This is, he didn't make this, for the record. <laughs> That's just an analogy I'm using to explain how great it is. Um, here's the deal. It's got, first of all, the bristles are so gentle and soft, I can't find soft bristles anywhere. Quip, got them, first of all. Second of all, you click it, it times it out. It times out your brush, so you know exactly how much you need to brush to get that perfect brush. And it reminds you every 30 seconds till about three minutes till you know that mouth is kissable clean. Or at least not puke, you know, you, maybe you won't be kissing one, but at least people won't be puking when they smell your disgusting breath. Not disgusting after Quip. I love Quip. What do you think about Quip, Elon? I like it. I think it looks really cool. Elon Musk made it. He didn't. <laughs> but, you know, you get what I'm saying.
Here's the deal, you guys. I can't recommend this toothbrush enough, and it looks expensive, but it's not. It starts at just $25. Go to getquip.com slash H3 right now, and you'll get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush, okay? It's, it's, it's just a no-brainer. 25 bucks. This is the last toothbrush you're ever going to need. That's your first refill pack free, along with your toothbrush for 25 bucks at getquip.com slash H3. Spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash H3. You're going to love it, all right? Thank you, Quip, for sponsoring us. God bless you. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. And finally, Lyft. Lyft. The world is changing. You don't have to work for somebody you hate anymore. Assuming all bosses suck. <laughs> they do. All bosses suck. Even if you love them, you're like, you, you hate, you got to hate your boss. It's just part of the experience of working for someone. With Lyft, you don't, you work for yourself. Okay? Lyft knows their drivers are what keeps them moving. So they do everything they can to make sure their drivers are happy. It's a simple formula. Happy drivers mean happy passengers. Maybe that's why 9 out of 10 Lyft drivers get a perfect 5-star rating. That's going to be great for your confidence. You give someone a ride, they give you 5 stars because they love you. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, I'm, maybe I'm not such a piece of shit after all. Because everybody loves me. 5 stars every time. You're going to be so confident. You're going to be making hundreds of dollars a week plus tips. Want to earn more money? Drive more. <laughs> give yourself a raise. Lyft was a first rideshare platform with tipping built right into the app. Because again, tips shouldn't depend on your passenger having a crumbled up bill in his pocket. And guess what? You keep 100% of the tips and they add up quick. Drivers have been paid out over $200 million since the feature was first introduced. Wow. wow. That's crazy. That's a lot of cheddar. And ex- that's a lot of guac. And guac. <laughs> An express pay lets you get paid almost instantly instead of waiting weeks for some boss that you hate. To pay you. And you got to chase them down and be like, hey, guy that I hate, can you pay me for my time? That doesn't happen here. So join the ride-sharing company that believes in treating its people better. Go to Lyft, L-Y-F-T dot com slash H3 today, and you get $500 new driver bonus. What? That's Lyft, L-Y-F-T dot com slash H3, Lyft dot com slash H3, my friends. Limited time only. Terms do apply on that offer, so get on it. My friends, thank you for for listening. Thank you to our gracious sponsors. If you're in the market, please help, consider supporting them and supporting the show. With that being said, let's get right back in to the news. Welcome thank back you. to the H Three Podcast. Here with the boys. Can I get you some? And one uh, girl please. and the ladies. What up? <laughs> having a ton of fun, having some laughs, some goofs, some boofs, oh. some spaffs, some goofs, some scoops, some flaps. We're on our best Some behavior. flaps. <laughs> yeah, sure. We, well, listen, we're not going to, we had toyed with the idea of discussing maybe Hitler wasn't such a bad guy. We went over it during the break. We covered a lot of ground, and we decided probably we won't discuss it. Yeah, I mean, we'll even, save it for another podcast because right. it's it's so much to talk about. Right, the podcast will be called "Good Men, Evil Deeds." Right? Shit. Can good men do evil can, deeds? Can, can and, evil deeds be done by good men? Right. Semicolon. Everybody deserves a second chance. <laughs> Damn right. Timber. Timber. <laughs> Got it. Good. Um, let's have let's pour some drinks. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting um, drunk. So I'm uh, doing I'm the- a little, um, if anyone's interested, uh, really, specifically you guys, I'm doing a little um, yeah. pineapple strawberry LaCroix. You LaCroix. Oh, LaCroix. you're playing a dangerous game with and, the, um, the mixed flavors of the LaCroix. Some uh, mandarin, f- like, citrusy uh, vodka. Oh, I'm going to hit the Henny. Uh, oh, Henny boy. Mmm. Hilo, you, you good? Are you, Anyone yeah, you guys? I haven't I do. even finished oh, go. the previous drink. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, You're have you guys that. heard about the Gerther movement? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, so. I'm not, like it's always so divisive to talk about Trump, and I'm not, and I'm not here to shit on him. I just thought that the Gerther movement, the name of it, was so funny. They found that, that I wanted to talk about. They it. dialed in on it. it. They were like, so good. You it's, do a good it yeah, so, "It's a good gag." It's a good joke. If anybody doesn't know the reference, so Trump spearheaded the birther movement he accused trump of not being born in the united states recently trump underwent a physical exam and people speculated that they underreported his weight and also uh, they over... overreported his height because uh... there's like he's right at the apparently he's six two 
and he's right at the height where he would be morbidly obese at or, his weight. Or just height. obese. I don't know if morbidly obese. Morbid's funnier, right. so let's That'd go with morbid. Chris. <laughs> Chris, okay, you're right. There's a big difference there. Well, at any rate, obese, okay? Yeah. Obese is such a funny word. It just sounds hilarious. I wonder if I'm obese. You're not obese. <laughs> I feel no. obese. I have an obese soul. You're the O best. I'm the O best. Thank oh, you, man. Thank you. I'm good. blushing. I'm blushing. This is good. Put that on a. Yeah, so what? Um, Coke and. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, okay. they overreported his height so that he could get the cutoff for not being obese. And people are calling it the Girther movement because it's a conspiracy huh. theory, you know, alleging that maybe, just maybe. So, I, guess, I wonder what his BMI would be then, given the, uh, the, the weight and height ratio. I mean, maybe. obviously, that's why they did that. Right. Wrong. But. Um, but hmm. apparently the president himself is going to be calling in to discuss this issue with us a little bit later. Bullshit. Really? I swear to God, it's weird, but the show's getting kind of a, into a big really? deal. Hey, congrats on getting on that level, guys. Yeah. Thank the you. president H3 himself. H3 Podcast, dude. It's a real thing. <laughs> we, I DM with him sometimes. Trump is talking to me. He's like, Fox and Friends. Is there anything know. we can't say to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, what, he's but, not like, sensitive. Okay. Okay, okay. Gotcha, cool. Don't, like, threaten his life. Oh. Well, well, he no doesn't promises, mind. He's but, cool, but the yeah, yeah. Secret Service is not down. I'll bet, you know, I'll, he gets a lot of crap. But I'll bet if you just, like, sit down with him, have a few Diet Cokes. Right. He's a really nice guy. I, here, that's, he's that's here, here now. I he's here now. Oh. My God, everybody. What? Uh, the President of the United States, President Trump, is here on the phone with us right now oh to discuss God. the Girther movement. Hello, Pres- Mr. President? Hi, this is the President calling. <laughs> I just have to say one thing. I was coming to sales, and I give up on this. Uh, it's only a rating sign too, but that's okay. But, that, but I only have one question for you. What the hell is Jack Douglas doing with a watch on? Okay, everybody has phones, everybody's got computers. <laughs> this Jack Douglas guy is a total wow. con man. He's totally wearing a watch on his wrist, okay? That's this embarrassing, not, Jack. The president right, okay? he knows and, your name. First of all, first of all, just so you understand, his name is John, right? John. Everybody calls that's him right. John. That is correct, but Mr. He goes president. By Jack. Don't buy Jack. This guy's a total fraud. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow, the president just called in the shit should, on this Jack. Guy, frankly, shouldn't even be here. This guy is a total disaster. That's okay. <laughs> but nobody will talk about it. And yet he's here on your podcast. Mr. So president, what do you have up. to say to the charge that people are saying that you're actually way more than what the doctors reported? I don't know about that, okay? I don't know. What, I will tell you, what I will tell you is this, okay? Logan Paul... <laughs> He's my hero, okay? Everybody needs a hero. Zero people shouldn't have a hero, okay? Just so you understand. <laughs> okay. M- Mr. President. Mr. President. The last thing I'll say, hold on, don't, wait, hold on, don't interrupt, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Just so you understand. Fabric merchandise is by far the best merchandise <laughs> online, okay? It's the best. Mr. And President, way, are you wearing say, Maverick merchandise uh, right now? Uh, Absolutely. I wear it under my suit all the time. It protects me. It protects evil spirits. It wards evil spirits away. <laughs> and also bad vibes. Right? It wards away bad vibes and, frankly, evil spirits. Including, by the way, which nobody will talk about. Nobody will talk about the fact no. that there are witches, goblins, and <laughs> what? Mr. Out President, there. this is a very it's unusual true. stance to take publicly. Are you saying that you believe in witchcraft? I am going to be making a major speech, just so you understand. I'm going to be making a major speech banning both witches and Sasquatches from entering the United States. Is okay? that really a... Th- is that, that's, all, that's all I wanted I, to I've say. I've always wanted to know, are goblins real? Absolutely. Not only are goblins <laughs> real, but I was startled when I saw a goblin. I was in the White House, and I looked out of my window, okay? I looked out of my window. I saw a goblin. Nobody will believe me. Mm-hmm. Just say what this is. Wait, Mr. The media President, will did you call it? Okay. Goblin Hold on. I want to talk to you about the goblin Girther movement. Why are we talking about goblins and witchcraft? And nobody will do anything about it. This is classic Trump, Mr. Man. President, how tall flex. are you? Always the flex. Well, I don't, well, I don't know. I'll tell you this much, though. I'll say this much, <laughs> Ethan, okay? He's got to answer You want to talk about this? I'll say this much. A goblin honestly stands about what he's playing. What, bitch. five two, five three? I don't know. I'm at least a foot taller than a goblin. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, okay? Mr. President, you got to draw a line in the sand here, Ethan. You can't yeah. let him dodge around the question. Mr. Yeah, President, get an answer out of this I need guy. to put my foot down. Yeah, I respect the office. I respect you immensely. I hear you about goblins no, and witchcraft. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, I understand okay. no, you what you're saying about okay, goblins ahead. and witchcraft, but there's a lot of people out there, a lot of charges against you, saying that you're actually.
actually obese and that you changed your height so that you said that you are not obese. Now, Mr. So President, that. can I we please get a statement about are you obese or not? You people are talking about that. Hold on, just see what you said. Your show is totally failing, and that's why you're saying these things. That's why you've got Jack Douglas and Eric on here, because your show is totally failing. It's totally tanking. All right, Mr. President, I'm going to have to cut you off. I'm going to have to cut you off. Disgusting. I dropped him. I I regret that I had to drop the president. This is a movement watch, by the way, Mr. President. (laughs) It's a good watch. By the way, sponsor of the program, I just want to say, MVMT. He is so good at that. Man. He's like he really is a master class in, in he not answering questions. You know, yeah, incredible. Taj. I'm goblins. I'm no, that really was expertly done. No, give the man some respect. Where I'm respect is due. Though. Okay, I'm intrigued. I he handled that really well. Yeah, those All were right. some tough allegations yeah. sling slinging at him. Say what you will. Right. That is your president. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I respect. And you will stand for I'm, the flag. Yeah. Yes, you will. I won't kneel. I'll never kneel. And I regret that I had to drop the president. But sometimes you just got to cut him off. Yeah. Right. Well, he was getting a little off. He's track. still talking. Let's <laughs> be honest. He still he does he he well, he had some good points. Nobody's he had told him points. that the call's been cut off. Dude. All right, guys. Let's. Here, I've got a ton of footage. I've oh, got this? a ton of videos. I want to watch. Speaking of the president, <laughs> flew right. Let's do a 180. <laughs> I've got a ton of videos prepared. Has she, has she just escaped from a fucking dungeon, or is she have no, no legs? Or no, something? no, no, What's the, she has no. No. What's the? This the is catch? all good-hearted fun. Ian, order a pizza. Now let's talk about this. Order right. a ton of pizzas for everyone. I want All at least right. ten pizzas. Not ten, but you get well, the idea. Yeah. Dan, make sure he doesn't go crazy, but get some pizzas. Ten. I, say. Um, I put together a ton of clips of the most awkward, cringy clips from television oh, God. Uh, contest shows. Oh, oh yes. God. So here, this oh, one God. is fucking pure gold, my friends. Oh, no. Johnny from The Hague. There's a show called Take Me Out in England. Or I think it's England, where there's like a hundred women in the crowd, and a guy walks out, and then they anonymously say, "I'm interested in this guy." So half of them will be like, okay. "I want to fuck this guy," right, right. or half of them will be like, "I don't want to fuck this guy." And so, but you don't. It's an anonymous. It's anonymous, right? so there's no. So yeah. here, so that's the premise here. Christ. Cheers, by the way, my friends. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, here's the the four more time. years, buddy. Hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Because they'll get impeached in the middle of the second period. I don't think this is English. Can I just comment that they're not even speaking English? I don't. I, I think really your, your, the your theory is, uh, is Gonski. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close, this, though. They're speaking English, like, um, spiritually. That's right. As I'll do. Aren't we all? You know? As all Beautifully do. put. Is the subtitle Club Music starts playing? That's damn right. That's yes, what I said. Eric. That's what I said. <laughs> I like to see oh, and you they all do, like, the awkward there. dance. So oh, this, God damn it. This I've guy seen walks this. out with Party on his shirt. God damn it. And listen, if I don't... Ela, Wait, guy what walks out. Ela, guy walks out with party on his shirt. You're telling me that you're not sloppy, slopping <laughs> wet. Party. That's some red pill talk. I just yeah. took a big ass red pill. It might took us. We saw. It was really weird. To watch. I made everyone watch. Yeah. yeah. Ian applied the Vaseline. I meant to talk to you about that. <laughs> That's buddy. part of the yeah. PA's. Uh, you know. You pay him, right? Ian's gonna meet too me in five years. <laughs> 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 My boss made me Vaseline his ass and apply a foot wide red, red giant red pill. Crimson red pill. <laughs> filled with multivitamins. I'm gonna need so, you to sign something in. I tried to explain to him that the oh, red yeah. pill is a metaphor. I need to design a shirt <laughs> like that. Yeah, come on, Teddy Fresh version two. Yeah. Two you want that party shirt? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm Johnny, 21 years old, young. Oh wait, uh, I'm sorry. This is, the dialogue's important. I'm Johnny, 21 years young. Cut him, and I'm from the Hague. Is that Never. something you build in civilization? The Hague is that one of the wonders? Yeah, what is Hague? He's one. He is one of the wonders. He's one of the wonders. You he build is. Johnny. He's the Hague. <laughs> civilization he's a party six shirt. expansion pack. I need you build translation Johnny. to the translation. Make some noise for Johnny. Do you not? So he, he's yeah. on a show where all these women are in panels, and they're going to decide if they want to fuck him or not. Oh. So nice make some noise for Johnny from the Hague. <laughs> want to fuck Mr. Rogers on the right? There. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Johnny's a cheerful guy and dresses very basic, <laughs> and he says for shizzle. No, he doesn't. Uh, he says translated. I'm sure well, that what is, in, what is for shizzle in another language? It makes you wonder, right? Like, yeah. what is the uh, yeah? Para shizzle. Uh, for shiz. That's well, the order to shizzle. Although his appearance is very basic, <laughs> you're all here to judge his appearance. So it's time to make your choice. Yes or no? Take a couple seconds to think about it. Have your choice ready soon. Oh God, this is gonna go well. Oh. 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 
Easy no, on him. Johnny. Bro, everybody read it. Everybody slammed red, like immediately. Why so hard on him, guys? Why now? Steering. Can I say something? Party guy says. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so. Can I say something, maybe? Sure, go ahead, say something. They're all dykes. Bro, you look like a lesbian. Fuck. Dyke no, is a no, I'm on his side. Those girls don't know what they're missing. All right, he yeah. he wears on his sleeve that he likes to party, and these women are gonna pass that up. They're idiots. They're absolute idiots. I agree. I think he had that Very. ready. Like he, he came dice. in with that. In his I mean, he knew he was gonna get rejected. Came, right? He looks like a dyke. <laughs> what is the word dyke? It's like a derogatory <laughs> word for a lesbian. Uh. So he, I mean, he looks like the biggest dyke there. That's so difficult though. <laughs> like, oh, you got you girls don't want to fuck me. Fuck you, yeah, lesbians. No. This is the body shaming episode of uh, the H3 well, podcast. No, listen, I would never make fun of the guy's appearance, but he came out. He said, "You're all dykes." He did say but some I'm like, dumb Bro, shit. You look like yeah. a. Yeah. You look like. Look a... at the guy's face on the right. He didn't have the best. Attitude. Like he repeats what he said, right? He's like, "They're all dykes." What? <laughs> They're all dykes. Uh, yeah, he... fuck. And he flips them all oh. off. He's like, bitch, oh I'm going to go God. party by myself. I mean, what I've seen a ton show? of Jersey Shore. This is very familiar to me. I'm glad to know they have a Jersey Shore in Italy, too. <laughs> this isn't Italy. They've oh. got too much class for this. Where is this? This, this I think it's got to be East horrible. European. Mm. Yeah. Czech, Hungary, all that good places. Yeah. I always play as Italians in, in Civ, and I always build Johnny. Italianos. Forget about it. The Hague. The Hague. Hague about it. Yeah, i got to Google the Hague. Can we like get some info on the Hague? What's Ian, Dan, anyone? It's a courthouse, right? Okay, Google. Really? Where is the Hague? Okay, uh, Dan. I hate guessing shit because I'm always what, wrong. What would you have voted on? I said, I just want to say this show looks horrible. Yeah, it is. What is this? What? The theme, by the way, <laughs> but I wasn't specific with the theme of these videos. It's not cringy. It's horrible. They're all, they're <laughs> all like completely depraved. Fine, fine line, Ethan. Fine fucking any, line. Yeah. So that, that's, it, a, that's a genre of, of oh, entertainment it's now. It's like, Dutch. The oh, it's Dutch. Oh, it's Dutch. There it is. All right. That explains the earrings. Anyone want to go to the Hague this weekend? My calendar is open. What the fuck is my watch? Yeah, but where? It's, it's, oh, other wrist. Check your other wrist. Dan said no. it's famous for. It's famous for international court. Oh my god! How did you know that? I was right. <laughs> I I'm don't know. So impressed. I don't know. How I knew that. Wait, what was he right about? Eric's just like, oh, it's a court. I picked that up. It is somewhere. Or is that, what does that mean? It's a. Court. I got a bunch of facts. There, just famous a, a famous Sometimes court, I catch them. They're a famous international court. Like a courthouse. Yeah. Funnily yeah, like enough, a... Dan says they're famous for being civilized. Well, they've fallen from grace. No, <laughs> yeah, no, you're making comments like that. <laughs> Trying to come up Johnny. with a dyke joke for that. You're a fool. So yeah, like like I said, it, these aren't. Cr this is beyond cringe. These are like morally depraved game shows. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they, yeah, they all said no, but he. Oh, Called them lesbians. You know, this right. reminds me. Speaking of morally depraved game shows, there was this, it was either MTV or VH1. There was an old game show called Next. And when Next. I say, you that know, sounds awful. Yeah. Oh, the bus. Yeah, the bus. Holy so, shit! Like, that show be, is great. It'd be either like five guys or five girls in a bus. Can I? Should I find clips? There is a clip if of want, Next is. that is hilarious. Oh, is it the one where up. she next or he next all of them like boom, 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 boom? Because that that's sounds amazing. I was thinking the one where the yes. like a chick just immediately nexts a dude. Yeah, like he oh, yeah. steps they, out of the bus. Step out like, the bus. Hey, she's like next, <laughs> which is hilarious. You said it's and on it's MTV. So, um, it's it's either next. Uh, next it's best MTV moments. or yeah. um, Dickie's famous MTV next episode. Oh, God, well I don't know like the specific characters, but there's one where she like. She Girl next falls off of the them. next bus. This one's oh, short. God. I like that. Yeah, 48. Yeah. God. This what is back the? When, just like, record your TV, hear man. Yeah. Guys, learn to uh, do it, you uh, fucking uh, animals. That's we not, not a good savages. like to dislike ratio. That's not great. We are not fucking savage. it up. That's... Girl walks off Always next judge bus. a video by its like to dislike ratio. That's better. And still... Oh, yeah. There's a camera on all the people in the bus. Right. Charity. So there's like a guy outside waiting to see them for the first time. That's the gimmick. So all five contestants are behind, then they come out of the bus to like. Then there's like a little like blurb, like meet Melanie. She's 21, loves to party, lives here. You know, like that kind of shit. Favorite band, so Luke Assault. She, she walks right. out. Totally. All of them. She walks out, meets him, and if he doesn't find her attractive, he necks her. Well, like, and, well, to her face. Yeah. Yeah, but but, yeah. but, yeah. but it's say like, that to them? but oh like they can God. go on dates and shit. But he can say next at any given time. It can be immediate. Right. It can be later like, on if she says something wrong in mid sentence. <laughs> He'll just be like, let's say she says something he doesn't like. He's like, 
next, and then oh. she has to go, and the next girl on the bus has to go out and like wow. enters. It's the same flavor as that show where where the all the people say no to yes. someone. That, no. That's, but that's why I bring it up. It's, it's the exact intense. Intense. in the same. It feels tent. even more horrible because it's personal. So well, you're saying she. someone's face. I think next. I think the one with the people with the buzzers is less scripted, perhaps. This oh. one is scripted as shit. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely. All these all MTV reality real shows. Yeah. Like, yeah, are I agree. complete I bullshit. Agree. That's yeah. a really good point. Hmm. Like, so I, this thing, like, central yeah. casting. When reality mostly, oh. TV was king. Next. Got right. him. Next. Yo. It's a scramble dumb dumb. Next. Right. Buster Rhymes. Damn. That's a Here. throwback. So now, I, now I wonder if the other guy was scripted. No. I think I, if I it was, it was it. less so. Like his they line have, must have been. They might have given him the shirt. Like uh, this is completely. <laughs> uh, you think they put his ass in a shirt? It's it's completely logical for that guy to be like, I'm gonna wear this shirt, put in these earrings, and I'm just gonna be a dick. That's the kind of guy he is. Yeah. he thought he looked good. But, but they from the beginning introduced him as like, look at him, he doesn't dress well. Right. What do you go to get through the gate? You have to be a character. That could have been like they have a rack of clothes. No way, that was real. You guys are too cynical. I refuse to believe that that wasn't a pure. I mean, we are pretty jaded. Unadulterated I just moment assume. of human yeah. of depravity. Yeah, I, need I mean, the that. fucking dude from The Apprentice just called us. So, I mean, I, I oh guess anything's God. possible. That are is we, true. Are we just skimming over that the president had called in and talked about goblins? At least we forget. That was a weird moment. <laughs> the he was really into I'm goblins. With him now. Well, now that I'm red pilled, I'm more keen to to <laughs> listen to stuff. Bring the Vaseline, <laughs> please. We have another red pill please. that needs to be inserted. I mean, if you paint that red. Oh, is that Novell Longbottom? It does look like him, but... Right? A little bit? So this is an English show called Your Face Your Face Mine. Your Face Mine. And so <laughs> this, this shit is so... This is <laughs> one of the worst I've seen. So the premise is... Yeah. <laughs> this guy has his ex-girlfriend and his girlfriend. <clears throat> and they say to him, who do you think is, what? just to give you an idea, smarter? And then he wins money based on how the audience vote, right? So he has to be vote with what he thinks the audience, audience is, will choose. Okay. which will okay. result in heartbreaking things that he's saying to his right. loved ones. Right. So they'll say, mm. the other girl, your ex-girlfriend is smarter. Really? Bad mic etiquette? So oh my god. <laughs> Drink more. Just Mar- strap it. Rubber Dang. band it. <laughs> Dang, I've been, I've been forgetting me. to do that too. Uh, that's, be- that's much better, Eric. <laughs> so the premise is that he's going to say horrible things about his potential girlfriend to win money to side with the audience. Uh, and here you're going to see, see that here. Good premise. I'm intrigued. It's truly awful. It's truly awful. Is this on Comedy Central? Oh my God, it is. But this is an English show. Their shit's all weird. They oh, well, that that comic, the ho- the host, I assume. Very How many famous. shows? Yeah, very does that famous. Fucking he has the best have. one-liners ever. He is he's really good with very, like very, hecklers. Very I think guy. he's on every show What's his on name? the BBC. We yeah, know his name. Right. He's Doctor Who. Fuck <laughs> you. Pretty much. His first name Doctor. Yeah. Last name ever. First name Doctor. I was actually really surprised to see him in this because he's somewhat reputable guy and the yeah. show is just objectively just garbage. Horrible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he read the one liner on it was like, oh, I'll do that. Jimmy something, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Savell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got him. Got it's him. interesting Timber. how there was like a moment of a few Timber. years of horrible shows. Yeah. All over yeah. The there world. was like a window of time when this was the norm mm-hmm. and we all just kind of put up with it. Well, forever. it is entertaining. Yeah. But at the same yeah, time, it's like all so are hanging. But today, it wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't I air. think you'd be surprised how many shows like that are still on the air. Really? Like, it's kind of uh, mutated a little bit. Now it's in the form of like Real Housewives. Bravo Network yeah. is yeah. like I mean, a the fucking bachelor. cyst. <laughs> Bravo. It's like looking at a cyst grow <laughs> because they just nice. get these stupid fucking people yeah. into these goddamn awful shows. Mm. And then you watch it because you're like, this is awful. And you're like, well, what am I doing? Oh, there's another one. All right. <laughs> Here's all them yelling at each other with the fucking uh, ringleader himself. No, What's this guy's name? Andy? I have no who's idea like, who's... Uh, Gotta hate it. <laughs> no, but it, it is entertaining. It's a guilty pleasure. You can't no. turn it off. Right. Like there's this. I have this one show I want to show you guys called Superstar USA, mm-hmm. and this was a show in the '90s when um, American Idol was at the peak of its popularity. And these psychopaths said to themselves, "Let's make a show," because everybody loves the bad auditions. So they say, "Let's make a show." I know exactly what you're about kick to off say. All of the talented people. Yes. Keep all the delusionally bad people yeah. and vote through the worst person. And then I at the end, forgot about that, man. And then at the end, tell them it was a giant prank and they're actually <laughs> awful. Yeah. Got them. It's, <laughs> Simber. It's, I uh, forgot about that. that. That's, so, that's a, the plot of an Eddie Murphy movie. 
Right. Oh, Norbit? God. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Norbit. Please, yeah, don't forget, keep that in the back of your head if you don't already have it queued in the playlist. I want to see that. I don't that. think so, Ela. Mm. Um, but okay, I, have I, want... that, I have that queued up. I have the finale oh. of that show queued up. That's that's what I and want, it, the finale, and it, and when they just, break the heart. It's unbelievable. It's oh, unbelievable. God damn. So we're building up there. People need to build up a resistance before we get that deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's that's awful. Dark. You're red-pilling your let's entire go, audience. But I would man. watch the shit out of that show, like, any day. Because, you, you know, it's like, hey... No, we all love the bad auditions. Exactly. That's the best part of American Idol, the I first stopped. two weeks. I stopped. Oh, after once like, that. yeah, I, same, man. Oh, like, Rupert stuttered? Oh, wow. What do I need to watch? There's, go- <laughs> there's already so much good music. What do I care right. about? Some Pass. Guys? Give me William more Hung. William Hung's. Yeah. 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 Give me more of that. William Hung, man. That guy yeah. made a career off what was, of just what was not the being Martin able song to do he it. Sang or, he yeah. said, uh, uh, you know, yes. she bangs. She bangs. She bangs. Yeah. She moves, and I don't know the words. An instant legend in 10 seconds. Okay, I'm sorry. We are so, so at any, far. At any rate. Yeah. Your face oh, or mine. <laughs> How recently did you date Kai? Four, four years, some of that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And did it work out with your still mates? Yeah. Are you still, like, texting? Still mates. No. That's nice. <laughs> I'll try, but. <laughs> Classy man about. Have you ever met Sarah before? No, but I think I've seen you actually in the. You've got a white car, haven't you? Yeah, I used to, yeah. That's a bad thing. I've seen her in the petrol car region. I was just like, oh, that's Sarah. I was like, oh, okay. Sometimes I see people that I follow. <laughs> This poor girl in this land, but she's like a sweetheart. Would you ever try anything around. again with Sarah? Let's say you were single now, Kai. Would you try it on again with her? Of course, if I was yeah. single. Of course. But unfortunately, I've got this ball and chain. Try with anyone. <laughs> so, not that. Thanks. I mean, yeah. That's right, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. Not no, no, he will try it with anyone, not just anyone. Don't get excited, I'll be trying with anyone. <laughs> So, Kai, you've won £1,200 on the show so far. If you get this right, we'll double your money. <laughs> okay, so who's better looking? Okay. Your ex <laughs> or your current? <laughs> who's prettier, he asked. Oh, who's prettier? Oh. <coughs> I'm going to go with Sarah. <laughs> oh, do we get that on audio? Yeah, cause, no, because Medina's heart broke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to talk me through the decision? Because she's beautiful. Buddy, what? buddy, buddy, no, no, it's he just, can't talk. It's just well, awful. He, he'll like he'll make no, money, I, though, right? Yes. Well, yeah, okay. he went like. If the audience votes with him. He went 2,400 pounds. Yeah. I think he's just trying is to guess it, what the audience is going to vote for. He, he stands to win 1,200 pounds. Is it worth it? It'll double. Yeah. Yeah. 1,200. Yeah, man. That's like 0.5 bitcoins. <laughs> no, I'm not trying much to less, threaten you guys. Much less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn! Quit, quit bragging about your fucking cryptocurrency. Dude, I'm into so Jordan much crypto. Kid, man. Yeah. I got I red pilled. I got red pill coins. That Jordan They're kid huge. said he had ten bitcoins, and he was not. Dude, that yeah, Jordan that kid, kid was cool Bitcoin. as hell. That Can we get him back on the phone? I, I, that kid knew what he was talking I hope about. I, I got some questions for him about how to no, exchange my money into Dogecoin. That kid me out. They're both such beautiful girls. But one more so. No. Love him. Okay, so you're saying Sarah for twelve hundred pounds is better looking than your girlfriend? Well, let's see if the audience agreed. Oh God! How brutal is this shit? Oh! oh. oh they high five afterwards. Oh my God! What is this show? Wait, which one's his girlfriend, Lana? Right? Yes, the the black girl. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ! They high fived. Yeah, they, they made high, money. They high five, but she's dead inside. Oh, uh, clearly. Eh. It's like uh, I said earlier. It's like that Simpsons episode, like where you can pinpoint where the heart breaks. Like that. Right. Was, that's awful. That's. Yeah. But damn, if it doesn't make for good television. You know, <laughs> that's I'm a racist ass audience. I'm just audience. surprised I the that, that right this was shows are. I'm surprised that someone as famous and reputable as this guy would attach himself yeah, to something he's like, so awful. You see him on Reddit all the fucking time, just like a one liner, or like I think he or likes it's usually to... like how to handle like comedian owns heckler, and it's like right. you know a nine minute montage right. of him screaming at the audience. I think that guy gains power from the destruction of human souls before. Mm. Oh, clearly, that's how that's that's what fuels him. He really. saw this show. He was like, just done. It was I'll take it. Completely up Temper. his alley. Do it for free. <laughs> I just sit there. Uh, yeah, snot. I, at I, I I don't take money. Only suffering. Right. Well, let's. Yeah. Okay, so we're building up. <laughs> this is cool. I have enough money. Before. We're building I mean, up to the finale. Like um, soul. This this is an American classic. Um, an American classic. Okay. This is a staple. The moment like of Robert truth Frost? was a show 
that was goons. They they hooked oh, up. Oh yeah yeah you, yeah. You I haven't this. seen this. Yeah. So they hook people up to lie detectors. Oh. And when they pass the lie detector, they get paid. Mm-hmm. So it's like millionaire, except you just. They ask you progressively right. worse questions on a truly more evil. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the premise. Okay, the title of this is "Girl Ruins Her Marriage on a Game Show." So I love it. <laughs> we're building up, my friends. God, get your tolerance high. This episode it's... was so controversial. It's I love cringe. Long. This episode was so controversial <laughs> that we needed to make an announcement, <laughs> right? And promote it and market it. We're right. coming at you in 240p. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, if that. The 90s was all 240p. There is no... <laughs> you know, looking at my older like, videos, uh, I'm like, fuck, this fuck quality sucks, Like man. Your, your your Salvia videos. I never even thought to save a higher quality version of half you, the shit. <laughs> nerdy question. Do you know what you were shooting on back in those days? This yeah, was it, was a, it was just a DV cam. It was, um, DV cam, okay, it was okay. uh, 480p. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, so, that was that's good. Cute. Oh, that's just a little box. You can still get it with 480p. They still shoot movies like that, well, like uh, yeah. a ghost story. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna and shoot my fucking next every Wes Anderson. Just, <laughs> just, to, just to shut me up, please do, please I'm do. Telling you. And then pin my comment when I say touche. <laughs> People will be like, "Why did you do this?" Right, 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 right. To prove a point on a podcast <laughs> that it's we start, shot three months ago. It's starting to get to the point where if you don't shoot in 8K, people complain. That's very fucking true. That, so M M K B T H. Okay, what I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, doesn't he shoot everything in like 4K? Like, he's gonna talk your off. I think about he's on 32K. 32K. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like Timber. light years ahead. No, that guy is awesome. He has like the prettiest reviews, honestly. Like, when it yeah, comes he's to great. Yeah. he is great. Um, God uh, bless his soul. Talking about Logan Paul? Talking about Logan Paul. I, 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 I have given him a second chance. <laughs> when I saw that pink, hot ass. Uh, Maverick merch. Dude, where I can says, I get that? Right. This guy deserves a second chance. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's always oh, brave to jealous. turn pink into a style. <laughs> mm. It takes a real man, Ken Paul, to yeah. style it. I'm pink pilled. <laughs> now that's hot. Oh, it is the most uncomfortable. What was that? What was that? What was that? Wait, go back. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's that's like some '90s bullshit. I was just right gonna there. say it's very era, yeah. like of the era. <laughs> that's Why him forgetting like his fucking inmate? line. Oh wait, this is as an employee of a hair salon. Have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you didn't? I this... have never. True. I have like you ever flashed a stranger for just for laughs? Yeah, that is. Yeah, it was the upload. It's not the '90s. Would you give food to a stray dog before? Oh my God, this guy did us a great service. Wait, he really right? slammed through this. He's, right. right, because otherwise this would be an hour of padding. He knows all the game shows. Right, that was That's pretty true. good. You know, uh, shout out to yeah, the uh, uploader. To Jordan, I believe it is. Wait, what, <laughs> would you give food to a shit, stray man. dog prolific. before you would give it to a homeless person? Oh. Do you give food to a stray oh. What kind of fucking question Great is question. That? Great would you? Question. That's kind of interesting question. That's a, that's a lie detector I mean, we question? don't have a lie detector hooked up, to, so we can say whatever we well, want. Well, we're drunk. That's true. That's would like you give juice. food to a dog before a homeless person? I mean, which one do I see first? Yeah, what kind of situation know. is it? If I had There's food a, yeah. in my hand, I'd be like, Wait, hey, buddy. Can we get some context? You've got a sandwich. you got a sandwich. It's dropped on the I ground. I let the homeless guy take a it. hit off my e-cigarette. <laughs> hey, buddy. You did? I got you. Nah, I'd just be like, hey, man, hey, take a hit. You're a good man. Yeah. You're a good man. And then you I, did or you would? I'm you a did or you so would? I would take a hit after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really my kink. Everyone's got one. I know. A bug hunter. Is that people who want HIV? Is that real? Go oh. on Craigslist. I'll bet you there's oh, people I didn't know what that was being like, hey, I got bugs. So apparently there's like HIV parties where guys who no. are infected go and take it up the ass. No. No. They want the bug. They no. want the Because they want a party. Real. That's not real. <laughs> Dude, bro, there's apps for gay AIDS dating. There's people who like cut their well, arms makes... off and shit. Like body dysmorphia. That does make... That makes sense. I actually, I don't know if that's real. I did just say You're that. Well, no, like, like if HIV, <laughs> like if both partners are HIV positive, that makes that sense. does make sense. But catching the bug, I don't get. That I've never heard of before. Like mm. the party I guess, sounds I suspect think, because think... it, you'd, you'd already have it by the time you got invited to one, right? Yeah. If you go, you go find it eventually. Apparently, as I understand it, it's a little harder to catch HIV than most people think. Apparently, if you're a guy, it's almost impossible to get HIV f- put in your dick and stuff. Really? You, yeah, it's like you hmm. have like less than one percent chance of catching HIV putting your dick and stuff. Much higher is when you're receiving. Mm. And but most people get it from drug drug sharing. Mm. Mm. The vast majority of people really? get it from needle sharing. Didn't know that because that's like almost yeah. guaranteed. No, I wasted a lot of money on those parties. Oh yeah, and 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 did you achieve what you were looking for? Or? No. 
<laughs> I'm healthy as a fucking what a clam. Disappointment. I'm sorry to hear I'm that. I'm healthy man. as a clam, dude. <laughs> Are clams healthy? Is that a what is saying? That I, I like that. No, is. I like hey, healthy as a clam. Guys, I'm healthy as a clam and I'm hating it. Hey, uh, <laughs> Twitch users, is that is that a saying? Let yeah. us know in the comments below. Um, <laughs> but I think the thing about the bug chaser is that because they know that they're so weird and wild, they think it's inevitable and they just want to get ahead of it. They want to be like, look, I've got it. Yeah. Now I know I've got it. And now I can rub my dick with any dick. It's got to be like a masochist thing, too. You know, like like uh, delivering pain to yourself in some way. Because it's not just HIV that you're going for. Like, bug hunters, I think. I'm really going outside my comfort level here with uh, talking <laughs> Your about Your knowledge this. base. Because yeah. I just know about the fucking term because I thought sure. it was a funny name for it. <laughs> yeah. Where you're like, I'm a bug hunter. Like, you put on your fucking crocodile dundee. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Dan and Pat. Ian, can you guys do some research on bug hunting? Yeah, can you... Hey, find me some okay, bugs. Google, Go to bughunter.net. I need bugs. I wonder what's there. Look at the TB. <laughs> TB's hot this month. All right, anyway, where the fuck were we? Oh, it ruined oh yeah, my marriage. right, the game show with no morality. Have you derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? <laughs> yes, I have. The really? questions are so devious. I think you can yeah. even, like, super skip. And just go right to the middle. Well, it's only have you minutes. ever been fired from a job for stealing dude. money? Yes. It's the evolution. I know he's got. Your me. husband yeah, is a police officer. Do you guys remember the peer or greed? The show, like the Fox game show, Greed. It was like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but on fucking steroids. And the prize um, was like that's hilarious. Name. It was like multi million dollars, but you could like vote off team members and shit. Sorry, that's what I, I bring it up guys. because that's what I like remember from this. They're like, yeah, I'm sorry. What's up? No, no problem at all. I'm just pulling up this article on bug chasing. <laughs> <laughs> bug chasing, that's what it is. Bug chasing, oh also known as slang no. as charging, <laughs> yeah. is a practice of pursuing Wait. sexual activity with HIV positive individuals in order to con no. contract this HIV. Is real. Individuals this engaged in this real. activity are referred to as bug chasers. It's a form of self harm. That's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Bug chasers seek um, sexual partners yes. who are HIV positive for the purpose of having unprotected cool. sex and becoming HIV positive. Gift givers are HIV positive individuals who comply with the bug no. chaser's gift effort givers. to become infected with HIV. This is why Craigslist got invented. Bro, <laughs> gift givers. Craigslist's first post was gift giver here. <laughs> who wants it? <laughs> New bug chasing. By design, bug chasing involves unprotected sex, but members of the bareback subculture, this is just full of laughs. Bareback subculture. <laughs> There's a cl there's an article about bareback just for anyone wondering. <laughs> Does it lead to like horse riding or something like? I know it says sex. subculture are not necessarily bug chasers. The difference is intent. In reviewing the scarce unpublished and published materials of bug chasing, as well as general healthcare speculations and common appearance, the lumping of bug chasers with barebackers, although these two groups share some of the same practices, namely unprotected anal intercourse, U and it's abbreviated UAI, there are distinctions that differentiate bug chasing, even though all bug chasers are indeed bareback. This is this is a meme, right? Can I just say <laughs> for as long as I live, on my deathbed, I will still have this memory ingrained in my brain. Of of you pulling the window into this video saying like, oh, I found an article on bug chasers. Yeah. Oh, man. They were Forever. Gonna, this is what they, that this, broke me, dude. That remember the movie broke me. Uh, Outbreak? What's that? Remember the movie Outbreak? The greater there's a sequel. It was just Outbreak Two: Bug Chasers. Oh, was that the Soderbergh movie or uh, no? Yeah, it could be like some mumblecore shit, you know, like a bunch of. Are you more of a gift giver or a bug chaser? Um, I'm in the middle, <laughs> filming. Uh, I'm in the middle between the two. <laughs> getting fluids. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Getting immediately Hold on, infected. Hold I've got a bug in my throat. I like to be the middle centipede. <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting that segue. I'm a bug. I listen. I'm a bug chaser <laughs> for the intent I of one day being a gift giver. It's nice to be in the hunt. Well, you can collect them like Pokemon, right? <laughs> you know, you got your Ebola. There are different types of HIV. There's Super yeah, AIDS, for you get, example. You can get hepatitis. Mm -hmm. I've heard uh, I've been on the hunt for diabetes. Oh, well, just uh, the pizza's <laughs> on the way. <laughs> the pizza's on the way. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. A bug hunt some diabetes. Yeah. 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 Doesn't kidding. have to be sex. You could just no. go for a bug. No. Yeah. yeah, I don't believe that. That's in the... the that's, <laughs> no, you don't get that through sex. That's just being fat. Right. And, right. You know, the pizza. Let's yeah. boost can you the check pizza. on the pizza, please? You're part of the healthy clamors. Yeah, I'm trying to stay vegan. 
<laughs> the healthy <laughs> the what you are? Um, what'd you call what? it clamor it's like healthy as a clam oh. the clamors we're the, the clamors clam that's right that's right that's I'm a, like uh, somebody who doesn't speak English trying to say I'm yeah. a healthy clamor <laughs> right, right, I'm right, a healthy right. clamor <laughs> nice. hey yo can we get Trump back on the phone so we can talk I know. about like Where's you know goblins yeah. he's busy he's would you steal hiring money lawyers. from your place of employment no, Let I me do skip forward, Eric, money. on your recommendation. I, just, I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest. So. Do you secretly stay in have, touch with any boyfriends that your husband does weird. not know uh -oh. about? No. True. Uh, whoa, have you ever shit, taken bro. off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Yes, I have. True. It's in place now. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Bro, yes, why would they I even ask that, that? True. Like, why would you even ask yeah, that question? Because to skip, tell well, them the story. Dude, do you think this is scripted? Kind I mean, of. For yeah. God's sake. That question is way to too this. specific. Yeah. It's yes. way too specific. We have to warn you, this episode is so <laughs> graphic right. that it's completely it staged. <laughs> is, is there a lie detector test in existence that just spits out immediate results like that? Or it, it's all well, based it's on not your, very accurate. your it's heart rate. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all pseudoscience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It, that, that's a good one. They're inadmissible in court. Yeah. Um, I was watching an episode of... of uh, Mine Hunters, Vsauce for YouTube Red series, and they have this fucking machine that reads your brain waves based on recognition, and it's almost 100% accurate. So, like, if you've seen the murder weapon on a crime scene, they show it to you, and you can't fucking lie. It uh, knows. Wow. It, it registers your recognition brave brain wave. Wow. The wait, spooky wait, shit. Wait, didn't we see that on Black Mirror? No, that was on Vsauce. He was doing it an experiment. It sounds like a Black Mirror there. thing, though. Yeah, because there is a... No. Oh, there, oh, that episode that in the new episode. season. Yes, wait, yeah. there is. Wait, which one? Where um, they, what's they it have called? A Crocodile. Crocodile's name. Oh, the, the Memories. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess it is similar you, to that. Do you, you watch Black Mirror? Yeah, the season? that was... That one hurt. You know what? Black yeah, Mirror, yeah. I like it, but it's also like, watch out for tech, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 a little like two on the nose. It's kind of, kind of it's like repetitive, right? a bit of an optimist. I see the shit where like, you can put yourself into a fucking data bank, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I want some Eric in there. I think right. I want it to was... put Eric into a data bank. I know I would. I'm going to die. My soul's gone forever. But like a little digital version of me could live on. I want to be a yeah. gift giver in the data bank. There, <laughs> there will be bug hunters looking for you. <laughs> They're like... Oh, man, that's powerful. I, I wish I could get HIV and just be like... Well, you know, when we hit the singularity, good. we're going to have all the bugs. We're going to share all the bugs. Is that what you think will happen when we hit the singularity? Oh, Minefield? I think so. I think... Sorry, I mean, Minefield. You whatever. said Minehunters, yeah, which is a Netflix that's show. It's a different show. Fuck. It's also you good. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. No, nah, yeah. I think Oni NG had a really good criticism of Black Mirror in a tweet the other day when, when he said, like, they're kind of... Like, I love Black Mirror... But they're kind of recycling some of the same it like plot lines when yeah. it's you know it's all like oh it's virtual reality like yeah. it's like if you're gonna be an anthology show if you're gonna be a modern day Twilight Zone which it is yeah. mm -hmm. I feel there you have this infinite world of storytelling yeah. possibilities why is it always got to be like the, dystopian future they, it's they, always, well, yeah. at least they did have one of the best episodes the first episode of the first of the season, season? Yeah. that was the best one um, by far best. By probably one of the best. Episodes of any TV show of all time. I loved it. Oh, Jimmy genius. Simpson, man. So it was, that guy's was that the, the evil mastermind guy, Jimmy Simpson? He, uh, he was no, the main character. Uh, Jimmy Simpson was the guy who's like kid. He had the lollipop. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He's the McPoyle. In the, I, I, that's what I was going to say. In, in uh, Always Sunny. Yeah. 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 Mm. Absolutely. It's fucking brilliant. Oh. Yeah. It's right. amazing oh, yeah. seeing him oh, pop yeah. up yeah. and other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You see him as a McPoyle on Sunny and you're like, oh my God, that's such a funny character. It's like a throwaway character. You see him in fucking Westworld and you're like, oh, he's incredible at everything. Yeah, right, right. He's moving on up in the world. I Man. Just to say. His like he's his comedy. It. What a gift giver! Abilities are just in yeah. like when he's hitting his head on the thing. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. Like that. There's no way that was in the script. That had to have mm. just been Jimmy. Oh, you think just, just ad living? That's funny. I don't know. That's a guess, but no, no, that I guy's fucking so. incredible. Yeah, if you guys if you guys watch any episode of Black Mirror, make it season four, episode one. Yeah. The other are just like, oh my god, VR. Yeah, no, honestly, it should like that should have been like the ender for me, like that because I was. <laughs> well, it was start so strong. good with these Netflix shows. It's a different kind of thing. Like, yeah. I, I think I think that there's going to be like a TED talk soon about how to like <laughs> create content that comes out all at once and how to stack it. I don't because if it's a that. weekly show, then you can start weak and get stronger. Mm. But if it's a Netflix show, you might no, as well you got to start. Like, you got to hit front. the ground running. Mm. You people are like, this is a great season. Yeah. That's very true. And then three episodes that aren't as good, and then the final episode's great again. Yeah. So like, 
people forget that, that is very true. Doldrums yeah. Sounds like you have a talk ready to. Be. Yeah, you're I'm ready. Are you going to deliver this? This, this is, is it. See the this index is card. No, right I got a TED talk on bu- bug hunts. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. I don't want to. Yeah. You don't. You don't, don't cross do. yeah. pollinate. Those I have too yeah, many yeah, interns so. working for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think big money. Pretty much determined this is fake. That question is way too specific. But let's go to like the marriage rooming questions. This is your ex boyfriend. Yeah, they brought out her ex. Is that British? I wanted to get back together with you. Would you leave your husband? Oh, you can avoid here. this right now Pause by the hitting show. the button, Frank. No. no? I, I feel like the editing, I can't even tell what's happening. I feel like I'm in an episode of Memento. Yeah, we're definitely watching this woman's life crash before us. And Do you believe <laughs> what? I'm the man you should be married to? Say yes. True. There's really nothing else I can really hear, so might as well just go for it. Go no. I'm gonna keep on going. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than Uh-oh. your husband? Aha. Yes. True. Oh. oh. Do you think you're a good At least person? attempt. Say no, stupid. At least attempt to lie. Come on, say then no. Then you have deniability. Jesus. That's true. How? They gotta be actors. I think that they have to be actors. I mean, yeah, it's just because it, it makes for good television, yeah. obviously. After, after having watched, so I like, watched this a while ago. Having watched it now, I think that this has to be fake. Yeah. Well, we also did just Honestly, talk about a story I about think twelve I kids am being a good fucking. That's fake, by the way. That was made just for ratings. Kids are actors. <laughs> yeah, it's all just made up for the <laughs> na- evening actors. news. False. Lol. <laughs> That's just way too perfect. I'm sorry. Hosted by Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. I'm sorry. But Wait, that was Mark it's, Wahlberg. It's missing the H, so it's not actual. But Mark that's not Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. They just got oh, him dude, because nice. his name is Mark Wahlberg. Bro, your name is Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> well, the H is silent. Yeah, I'm Canadian. Um, Mark Wahlberg. The last question was, "Do you think you're a good person?" She said yes, and then it's like, "Lie." Uh, Girl, you you lie. Said, Get no. real. Your shit's fake. You yeah. Know what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Because also, like, how can you? The lie detector is so not non reliable. Like it doesn't mean anything. Like, er, like what does that fucking mean? Your heart rate spikes. Yes. Like, like that's so stupid. I <laughs> took I when I was in Israel, I had to take a lie detector for a job interview, and I resented it. It's so lame. Yikes. I it, I, I hate everything about it. They fuck with you when they're reading the results. Yeah. Like, even they look f- at you like. Mm, yes. Yeah, uh-huh. Even for a job interview that's like not that serious, they're like, "Have you ever taken drugs? Which ones?" And I'm just like, I said no, but I wish I was just like, none of your fucking business, bro. Yeah. Well, you go, yeah, yeah. What was that? <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> huh? Well, it's intimidating. Your readings are off the scale. I'm sure it's like a psychological thing where they like. It's hard to you know, it's hard to resist getting anxious, and that's all that it. That's yeah. It's like really when you're right. being stopped by a cop even though you didn't do anything. Yes, I get it's, it's a, a mind get, game. I get so stressed. Of course. Like, what is you it? You can like put a pin. Or like a thumbtack in your shoe hmm. and like fuck yourself up. So You can you're... squeeze your asshole actually is the real test. Oh. You squeeze your asshole and it raises your blood pressure and it completely mm. single-handedly makes the reading That's completely unusable. That is. So every Good time you're about to lie, squeeze your asshole. <laughs> I had no idea. And I've been doing kegels ever since I read that. Ass kegels. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> He's the kegels. <laughs> Is the pizza here, Dan, for Christ's sake? <laughs> Jack's writing that down. Good. Take notes. Ian's right. just going to walk in dressed as a pizza. <laughs> we eat him. Cool. Mm. All right. Um, okay. Guys, we have, the pros. we have led to this moment. The, the most depraved. Superstar <laughs> USA. The grand finale. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. There was so another here we one. Go. Okay, so this, this is, has got to be is, the worst. This is real, and it's awful. This is the one I was talking about. That's the bizarro so American Idol. So they're choosing the worst. Right. Yeah. So none of these people on stage they can actually know. sing, but they think they can because yeah. they've advanced so far in this competition. Exactly. Okay. Exactly right. Oh, those they're poor being fucks. Pranked. <laughs> the original Just a Prank Bro. <laughs> That's right. Welcome back to the WB Superstar USA. The suspense is building because we're just seconds away from announcing which one of these two incredible. Entertainers. Oh my god. Turn the title. <laughs> like, of the like, superstar USA. It looks like a star, dude. I wish the prank was on the post. Oh, like, that'd be, that be, be like a joke. Oh. Of the first oh, by the way, there's a twist to this that I recall. They made a documentary about this, okay? Oh. Everyone in the audience, they couldn't tell them the truth because people would feel so awful. Right. They couldn't right. possibly yeah. cheer them on. So, what they told the people in the audience is that these are ca- cancer make a wish 
people, and it's their last wish no. to perform for really? people that makes and it be an idol. So much worse. That makes yeah. everything <laughs> so much worse. That's like one and of those so ideas that gets audience... struck down immediately. <laughs> yes, by a meeting. decent human fucking being. Someone like, in that hey, meeting is, is like, Whoa. maybe not. You, this is the Nazi Germany, Germany of way. television yeah. shows. It's like this shouldn't exist. What happened That's in the minds so... of these people? Well, was God this bless a him. Fox show? Do you know? Or... Um, it says it was a. Uh, WB. Oh, WB. Yeah. WB. I'm yeah. sorry. Yep. WB. yep. There it is. Wow. And after this was Animaniacs. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, <laughs> they, they fucked up the DC comedy. They're tiny. They're tuner. Right. They're all yeah. a little loony. Next up um, is a new episode. So even the audience wasn't in on it. WB Superstar USA. Look at this guy, man. At this stake. Poor son of a bitch. Is literally sorry, yeah, right. a dream come true. I bet they wish they were Mario, doing a show where they Jamie, actually. Didn't do this. The moment has come. Now, sure, yeah. now without oh, yeah. further ado, the WB Superstar USA is. <laughs> how did that guy not win, by the way? It's the girl. She went. Sorry to ruin the surprise, but how did that I, guy not win? Such a spoiler. I'm sorry, you guys. Which one's the girl? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Timber. Timber. Big shot. What is this? Whoa, what? 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 Ah. What? Why they told, so they told him to do that. Maybe they saw him doing it, and so they There's just no got way the they shot. Pan, like this isn't no, fucking planet maybe, Earth. Maybe they saw <laughs> him doing it. Down. Nice <laughs> reference. It's <laughs> just get that. They saw That's him doing it. I'm just trying to use my imagination. I think that they, they just saw just him doing it, and then they got the shot. They're, they're like, hey, can you yeah. well, hang on? Can you go regular hands again? We're gonna pan down and get that. Let's. Delay the, thing, the what, winner. The thing is, they shouldn't, because it makes it look fake. Even if they're like, let's, we see him Fucking, acting. Yeah. 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 What is that? Let's just assume for now it's real, because it is real. That's, I'm, yeah, my, I'm already there, baby. It's real. Oh, my, real. oh, he's pissed. Bye. He's got this machete from back I'm sorry, that, you're telling me that disappointment is not real, Eric? The fuck do you know about I think life? they just told him to go back there. All right, now go back. Bro, this is real. Watch her face. <laughs> Nobody's as good of an actor. God. And the, the, I can't wait for the payoff. I the can't confusion wait for the that ensues, it has to be real. Yeah, this, this, this one is real. It's real. Well, it can still be real, but they can still tell them to do the... Okay, thing. I see what like you're they saying. Can, yeah. Before they even... Cross your fingers and look like a loony yeah. tune. <laughs> what was that last part? Look like, you know... <laughs> yeah. Jamie, how does it feel? Oh my gosh, I'm like speechless right now. Oh my god, I don't want to cry. Did you have any doubts? No, I didn't actually. I I was so Woo! confident. No doubt, you guys. I really wanted to do this. This has been my dream my entire life. What's so, the price? I'm, I'm already trying it. Speechless. I don't. I think they actually get ten thousand or something, so it softens the blow a little bit. Okay. Okay. And a lifetime of humiliation. Huh. Well, yeah. That's. What was the price supposed to be? Well, Jamie, we believe there's. I think it was like ten. I don't know. Ten thousand. I don't know. It's some talent. nominal Singing amount. It's not like a million a small bucks. Part or anything. of the superstar package. There's charisma. Showmanship, stage presence, sex appeal. Got him. And at Ooh. least a dozen other factors to take into consideration. And that's why you are our Superstar USA. That was weird. Oh, this, is, this is human cruelty. Jamie, <laughs> Damn, it's good TV. you've been through a lot to get here. Yes. But before we officially crown you, oh, boy. let's take one last look yes. at your long journey. Yes. To superstar. Oh, let's. Oh, let's. Shit balls. Oh, my God. Well, they're always the pressing people to come up with these shows USA like began with thousands of auditions Oh, yeah. As we so, the like, country, having a prize of 10,000 and, and just this, this was the only time they had a live audience was the finale. Yeah. yeah. In Minneapolis, we found you, Jamie. Told them the cancer patients. <laughs> Get a load of this. Shiny. <laughs> My performance was really good. I, I nailed She's not all the notes. Terrible. And that actually all the words, wasn't that bad. Really it wasn't that bad. Happy. They yeah. could have chosen the worst snippet. I think I did a great job, and snippet. I hope I can continue to stay in this competition. We plucked you out of obscurity and pull you to Hollywood to fight for a chance at fame and fortune. Oh, oh my God. God. My dream is fortune. definitely now re becoming reality because. I mean, I'm here in Hollywood, just feeling like a star. And when I get up on that stage to sing, I'm, I'm just gonna feel great. When it came time to sing, our other superstar USA hopefuls didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I'm sure of myself. So everybody else in the competition better say bye bye because Jamie's here. <laughs> Jamie, 
the confidence is what I think adversaries with really the powerhouse it's what got her. It feels yeah. My heart will go on. Oh, no. How's that sound, Jack? Mm. There we go. There it is. That's my WB superstar. <laughs> Let's get that WB frog out here. Four incredible entertainers. Oh. The competition Hello, was fierce. Hello, really excited to get up on the stage. I like that this is the one that gets all the concern from us. We're just talking about I mean, kids in a dungeon. Been my dream to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Joking through the whole thing. This is when we're quiet, this is silently <laughs> watching in dread. <laughs> this is the true villainy, Harry. <laughs> You were right to put this last. Well, this one's real. That's the difference. This is yeah. This one's real. I'm sorry. Can we this press? Poor woman. Can you press the J button on your on the laptop so I can hear the beginning of All by Myself? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jamie, your version of All by Myself proved you were unstoppable. Whoa, dude. That's a superstar right there, my friend. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Hit that note, girl. This makes me want to buy the box set of the show. But you see, it's compelling, right? It's like yeah. all the best parts of American Idol. It's genius. Oh, but you all this woman's mind by showing her this. Like, no, it's, it's like they draw like it out. She's like, I that say, was good. Oh, they okay. draw it out. They torture. It's like it's wow. sick, bro. You know, she is unbelievable. I just say the premise is pretty and, great. And, and meanwhile, the host is watching her. Like, are, are, do you yeah. get it yet? Like, do you get it yet? <laughs> like, it's sick. <laughs> Do you understand that this is a giant prank? Oh, no. Oh, honey. Tonight you faced off against I want to believe so hard. This, this guy, but I... I, I, I should have won. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, just, fucked just up on that. basically, I don't know how she could If they're going to make the thing a joke, ass. I feel like he would have taken it the Agreed. Best. Bro, Agreed. Bro, like, yeah, how right. are you going to top this guy? Yeah. It, it sells me cigarettes out of a bodega. <laughs> but but what if that guy just has a voice of an angel? I was just gonna just say like, he may have legit had a better singer. voice than her. That's what, yeah. exactly what I was gonna say. Like that's why yeah. he didn't win. <laughs> Looks wise though, that will always be my WB superstar USA. Oh. <laughs> Look at us. Look how low we become. We're just we're he's part probably of the problem. A, he's probably a Bitcoin billionaire, so you can shut the yeah. fuck up, dude. Bro, this is not a threat. But <laughs> I do have to <laughs> this, this isn't yeah. a threat. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Fuck Jordan, dude. What the hell is that guy? Huh? That's Ohio, yeah. man. That's just how they breed him over there. That's true. They don't use toilet paper. Right. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Oh, God. It's only downhill from here, I'm sure. Oh, it's just fucking... It's just brutal. End it's brutal. As you can see, she kind of starts to get it. We you can see in her face. She's getting suspicious. Such an unconditional belief in their own ability that those weren't good clips. <laughs> 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 it's silent. You see, she's she's not even a lousy singing voice. Oh god. Oh shit. Now they do this thing where they try to soften the blow. They go in on her. They go in on her, and then they're like, "But you're still a superstar in our hearts, right, everybody?" Jamie, there's a twist to this show. You know, it's really sad. You can tell by her face she suspected this was coming the whole time. I just but saw she that just there's didn't really want to say it. fucking five minutes left. Like, do they just berate her yes. and like, give her bugs? And then at the end, they're like, but give her a big round of applause. <laughs> oh, that's awful. By the way, this is oh, tuberculosis. Oh, awesome. Fuck a bitch. <laughs> Let's give her a hand. <laughs> for America's awful. best singer. Everybody give her the clap. She, she's. Everyone out we there is being like, I really need to reevaluate my life. Here. Yeah. I wonder who the, the, the judges are. Like, are they just like just think actors probably. looking for a gig? Or, yeah, I mean, yeah. Comedians. I think they're probably comedians. comedians. Right, right. Or, yeah. yeah. Or, I think yeah. they're cancer patients. Like a... There it is. <laughs> they're gift givers. Yeah. They're gift givers. <laughs> oh, my God. I love this gig. <laughs> who, who thought they were America's best singer. Oh, Arr. bro, nobody deserves that. No. <laughs> eh, fuck her. Jamie, we lied <laughs> On to the you. Other I'm just kidding. She seems nice, yeah. You are a great singer. Oh. The audience doesn't know. They mm -hmm. think that she's a cancer This person. is the longest violin string play <laughs> That's ever. True. That's true. <laughs> Unbelievable. But we didn't lie to you. Here. About so they basically just shit on her in her open mouth and made yeah. her swallow it, yeah. and then yep. this is how they this is how they make it okay. Who's that? That's um. Uh, but we didn't lie to you here. about how much this audience loves you right now. Oh, oh, the audience loves you. We didn't lie about that. They think Jesus you have cancer. Christ. 
I think that judge was the guy who did Funky Thank Cole Medina. so confusing. Like, thank like, you? <laughs> yeah. How do I react? She's in therapy to this day, rumor says. So, um, I just, I'm yep, bad, yeah. but y'all think I got cancer, so you're <laughs> clapping. <laughs> right. Now, how, how did you know Am about I good the then? cancer? <laughs> how did you know about the cancer twist? I In that document. I, I, oh, that's Listen, what it it's kind of foggy. No, it's okay. in, I checked, and it's also in the Wikipedia page. Of, is oh, it? Okay, so I didn't. Oh, about so the it, show? Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it says that they were worried the live audience members would not be able to respectfully compose themselves during the final performances, so they deceived the audience by falsely informing them that the singers were all terminally ill young people. <laughs> oh, my Bro, God. Who were level? having a wish fulfilled by a charitable organization. That is one of the most... <laughs> Truly despicable <laughs> things <laughs> I've ever that heard of. Yeah. That is, and people wonder how villainy. how Nazi Germany happened. Imagine walking <laughs> out of the there at the end, and all of us. Yeah. Like, because yeah, anyone. you went in there being like, "Man, good for you," and then at the end, it's like. No, you suck. <laughs> but then they're like, the audience loves you. And they're like, I don't know this person. I, I thought yeah, they had well, cancer. You, right. I mean, she's not going to live very long, I guess. So I'm going to give her a clap. Oh Can you imagine, right, being in the in the shoes of the audience, like... Yeah, like, what is this? Right. <laughs> what the one, fuck like, am I watching? They're saying Everyone's that cancer patient yeah. is a lousy singer. Also, <laughs> whose who's job was it to tell the entire audience... That everyone up on stage has right. cancer. All right, so listen up, everyone. Listen up. We know you're excited. It's here. not a good warm-up comedian. No, that's comedian. what they did. The, right. the, the guy comes out with a microphone. I want high like, energy. It has to be what they did. They the basically, yeah, the producer came out and just said something like, "Not very clear." He probably oh, said something God. like, he "Keep said the spirits something high." Like, uh, These are cancer survivors. They're terminally mm. ill. This is their last, last wish. So be positive, be encouraging, and cheer them on. That's the best they could come up with. It and, worked. and he yeah. said, whoever well, this person they're recording to find worked. <laughs> yeah. He said it was a prank on top of a prank. It was the only way to get it to work. They think they're clever. <laughs> they probably <laughs> patted themselves in the back when they when they thought of that idea. I mean, on paper, like on paper, you it can be like, oh, that's pretty funny. This this was a it's pretty on viral. paper, yes, an actual human execution. This it's, wasn't uh, the only show to do the old uh, the old twist. On the, on the take of reality because there's one where it was supposed to be like The Bachelor Joe Schmo but yeah the yeah. guy was not a millionaire at all he right. was just some random oh, dude that was a good show no the Joe Schmo show they did it with he a little bit more regular ass yeah kid. a little yeah. more respect end, they tell the woman he's not a millionaire because then it's right. on yes, the exactly. winner to be like okay yeah. well this guy's not a millionaire oh wait no 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 I'm, I'm sorry yeah that's one that's a great premise. and then there's another one where like I think the Joe Schmo show was he thought he oh fuck what was it like he was the only real actor and everyone else around him. Or he was the only real person. Holy everyone else around him oh, were yeah. actors. Yeah, that, that is that. another That was one. a Joe Schmo show. Yeah. And he like, and there were also like, there are alliances right. and like, you know, like immunity, like, and he thought he had actual friendships with these people. Very Truman Showy. y yeah, extreme. That's all it was. It was a Truman Show, but they made a game show out of it. watching this guy react to mm. shit that's like and out of control. And he won. And like once he won, everyone comes out and says like, "Oh, actually, you know, these are all paid fucking actors." Yeah. That one's a little more easier to I don't digest. It's pretty twisted. Yeah. It's still yeah. twisted, but like, How they, they can have it? fun with it. They're not telling anyone that people How have did cancer. He, take it? he was all like, he was very surprised and shocked and didn't quite get it and I mean, thought it was a little weird. But um, I think on camera you probably well. take it way better than you actually take it. Yeah, because you know yeah. you're on camera. Oh, 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 you know that man, there's someone watching million, you. Exactly. You have a million bucks. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And meanwhile, in your mind, you're like, I'm definitely gonna blow up a kindergarten. <laughs> 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 that's it. I'm gonna get a wife. We're gonna keep some kids in the basement. That's my how it starts. That's how it starts, up. man. I'm gonna get. That's how it starts. Get myself one of those uh, motorcycle helmet haircuts. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna right. be the end of my spawn. <laughs> right. Put my spawn through hell. I guess that's how he talks. It was, uh, no, we can assume. Oh, it's Riverside. Is that how they talk? Are you Could willing? Be. He does. To I believe put he does. In the effort, and do whatever it takes to become a true superstar. What are you talking By, about, bro? I mean, it's I guess. Confusing and weird. Like, what does that mean? Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Why is no one? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she really understands She's what's so happening. Confused. She's a broken human at this yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's, she wants to go back to the world where it was uh, still just a so game show. Awesome. Right. Is an experience. Mm. What y'all mean by that? Look how happy she is. And we're really? honored to present you with a $50,000 oh, okay. talent and recording deal. Not a bad consolation prize. No. It's a, it's a $50,000 talent recording deal. 
<laughs> Everything's going to cost $49,000. It's, right. it's not actually 50000 bucks. Right. You get two hours of studio time. <laughs> it's got no one to help you with anything. you got to run the boards yourself. Right. Oh, man. That's There's probably not far from the truth. Being but... such a good sport, we're also being such a good going sport. to give you another $50,000. There you go. Okay. Woohoo! In Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> So that hopefully you don't see us. I'd take 50 grand, but not for fucking unbelievable humiliation well, that, that lasts wow. for decades. This wow. was in the early 90s, I assume. 50k back then was no, probably no, worth no, quite no, a bit no. more. This That's would like be late 10 bitcoins. 90s, early O's. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because this is like at the Here, peak I'll find out. of American 2004. Idol. Whoa. There you go. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. sense of time. Yeah. So warm, early nineties. Where are you at? What did TV look like in the early nineties? Not uh, like that. Everybody like, would have had like weird, like up to here jeans. Yeah. Totally. Oh, mom, they have mom those jeans. jeans. No, no. They they would have mom jeans. They, they'd right. be flared at the bottom. Yeah. There'd be more. I'm rose checking the inflation. Flower petals on their shirts. That's true. That was big. That was I'm big doing an then. inflation so uh, that calculator, show, which was a nineties show. Oh, that's that's. Too bad. Oh my god! I, I've I, bam I, I, I bug hunted bam my way to the truth. No, you bamboozled us all. <laughs> Sadly, my friends, fifty thousand dollars back then is only sixty-five now. Uh, I was like, well, that's like a million. That's bucks why I got to invest then. in right, Bitcoin because right, right. yeah. that shit goes fucking crazy. Have you guys heard about BitConnect? What I did. Use my referral briefly. code. What BitConnect? Yeah, huh? briefly. Oh yeah, BitConnect. Have you guys seen that? I, no, but you had like a referral code. They scammed use, a bunch yeah, of people. No, right? use my. It's not a scam. Use my referral code. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, use this referral code. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm Big Connect was a giant. Hey, let me know when Jack yeah, uses your referral video code. About it. Oh, good. Nice. That'll be a good one. Crypto is just a whole fucking weird wild west. I, it's so funny. I don't touch that. I don't yeah, touch like, it. I don't, I don't like yeah. it. Big Connect. Nah, dude. I've started cornering but, people in parties and, and telling them to invest in Bitcoins. <laughs> right. Oh, dude. Right. That, yeah. You're doing them a service. You're yeah. trying to help people. You're like a Mormon trying to save a Jew's soul. <laughs> I think it's my favorite part of uh, parties. <laughs> just cornering. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. <laughs> I slap people in the face. I go, you don't understand. We're getting rid of the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's always the big it's argument. All, it's the new gold. It's yeah, the new gold. It's all horribly you don't corrupt business. It's not, it's not in charge of the dollar. <sighs> right. It's right. not connected to the oh, centralized God. government. Don't you realize that There's... anyone can take your dollars at any time and just run with them? I prefer invest to have, in Bitcoin. I prefer to have my coin get lost when my computer unexpectedly yeah. crashes. Right. You, know, you know all those yeah, old hard drives you have? For my kids. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Listen up. What up? Pam. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she wrote. Holy shit. I drank too much. I'm fucking done. All right, Hila, you're up. I lost. And I'm... go. All right, so just to... I do have one thing to say. Oh, yeah. The judges... I just looked, were musicians. One of them was a pop singer, Vitamin C. I don't Vitamin know. Vitamin C. Oh, oh, I loved yeah. her in Dracula them? 2000. <laughs> wait, nice. wait, there's nice an reference. artist named Vitamin C? That's yeah. hilarious. The graduation song? The graduation song. song. Yeah. yeah. As, as we go on, we remember. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know it. C. All the bugs <laughs> that <laughs> the we, gift giver we give. collect. <laughs> All I know is that I want a dick in my ass, unwrap a bareback. Yeah, I would need a and bareback. What's it? Not, what's it full of though? The dick. Yeah, AIDS. Oh, good. Like there's any question. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh God. I just want to make sure, man. Obviously. I want to make sure we're on the same. Platform. Okay, so they're so, all fucking musicians. Yeah, they're musicians. They're like that's famous funny. people. Oh well, shame wow. on them. Well, <laughs> not famous shame. anymore, right? Yeah, yeah I guess. shame, shame. I guess Vitamin <laughs> C needed to sell more uh, records, huh? <laughs> graduation guess, song I think, she, it, yeah, huh? I think she did fine I guess he needed to drink more orange juice <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh, she had a she had a ceiling sex with Dracula in that movie she fucked Dracula really? yeah she fucked Dracula <laughs> that's in Dracula it, now, 2000 that's, now talk about getting that's a gift risky look up right? yeah. vitamin C sex scene what Dracula the, 2000 <laughs> bro what the fuck kind of STD is like, he's like he's like flying around the room with her it's crazy I was like that's the chick who did the graduation song that's so weird <laughs> and then I watched it again and I was like and then you yeah, freeze frame. Watched it again. <laughs> Man, you imagine being a vampire. You've had so much unprotected sex over the years. You have so many. You are inventing S new STDs. Yeah, as a where, vampire. do vampires get that? Because they're technically dead already, so they can't really get new shit. They probably carry around some warts on their dick. Yeah, they're like, man, I've been alive for two thousand years. This wart is still that on my dick. That would suck. 
Because, like, by the end of being a vampire for 2,000 and years, you'd just be covered in STDs. Oh, yeah. Right. You wouldn't look right. You caught them all. That's yeah. fucking That's have a real Igor thing going on. People glorify yeah. vampires, but they don't think about the yeah. real practicality. Vampires are <laughs> fucking and fucking... And you can't go to the doctor and be like, Doc, can you burn off this work? Because be like, you're a vampire. Yeah, right. even the oldest right. vampires would have still gone through the 70s. Mm. They would just right. be really filled with point. STDs. That's right. right. <laughs> Chlamydia up to the ears. Totally. Like, their ears would be that pointy vampire thing. You've seen like, it in Sex Ed that... when the dicks have, like, main, like crystals almost growing oh, out Oh, my of favorite it. part in Sex Ed, yeah. yeah. That's Absolutely. how I gained power. Yeah. We need to write a parody <laughs> vampire film where they're just so and infected a, with a scientifically yeah. accurate Twilight saga is they're, what you're going yeah. for. <laughs> exactly. Dracula like, 2018. Like an, anatomically correct Twilight. They're all in, <laughs> they're all in like iron lungs and just they're like because they can't die. Yeah. Right, and which is like a fate worse than death. This is something like Twilight Zone shit. It is a fate shit. worse than death. This is some they are just doomed to <laughs> yeah. a to a horrible <laughs> suffering of chlamydia. And then Logan so Paul God, comes God. in and does a vlog in front of it. Go, cool, these fucking not dead guys. I I figured it out. Right, they're not right. dead. Right, right. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Because right, it's yeah. <laughs> and then he bug hunts him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you gift give him or? Logan, he doesn't have the nah, gift. Nah, he didn't have he didn't have any gifts. Logan doesn't have the gift. Yeah, yet. he doesn't have many gifts. I'm really gift excited for Logan's apology tour, though. That's gonna uh-huh. be good. where the yeah. fuck is Logan? Why is there no uh, first of all? Why is there no apology merch? He is still oh. not. Oh, that's a that's a great idea. He still not made sorry. a video. A bunch of eight year old kids walking around like, just like I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry, man. I'm sorry, Logan Paul. Like, I learned. wanted to make an apology that would really get out there, you know. So I merchandised it. Like I learned about talks? Yeah, yes, I, yeah. Sure. kind of. Yeah, I think it's more like, there, hey guys, better. I really wanted to apologize. We got to shave like half that off your head. <laughs> yeah, to get to close my, to I'm so 32 fun. years old, man. So I'm still fun. less bald Wait, you're than 30, 22. I thought you were 18. This kids, yeah, yeah, this kids, 10 years younger than me. 18? All right, stress, man. I'm gonna have a slice. Deep. All right. I'm going to lay the fuck down because I drank too much Henny, as usual. But that's what the boys oh, do. I didn't drink any Henny. The boys I'll have us have some. Okay. We'll continue drinking after this. <laughs> yeah. But I just don't know about continuing to be live as mm-hmm. I continue to drink. I think because we played this one the real racial smart. Slurs Thank are you, like, The <laughs> racial slurs, I feel it. It's like about to spill over. Oh, well. Then <laughs> I maybe. caught a couple. Like, I just, <laughs> from experience from last time, I'm like, this is the time to cut it off. Right, right, right. So, my friends... Thank you for joining us. I had a hoot, a holler, a blast, a laugh, and a total riot. Hope you guys had fun, too. Thank you so much to Jack. Or John. Thank, or, or John. Whatever my name Jack. is. <laughs> uh, guys, please check out his channel. He's hilarious. The link's in the description. Thank you. Thank Eric, you. Common Etiquette. Hilarious. Link is in the description. These yep. wonderful two gentlemen. I love them. Please, a round of applause for these wonderful guys. Thank you for coming. The boys. Yeah, the boys. This is always a pleasure. Yeah. This is honestly the best way to spend a Friday afternoon. Yeah. It really Fuck is. Yeah. This is one of my favorite uh, things so to fun. do. And Thank you God for bless having you guys. Seriously, this is, God bless you. Some good shit. God bless you. Thanks and to Trump for calling in. Oh, my God. That was so yeah. unexpected. Shout out you know? to Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. Good kid. Jordan from I hope Ohio. He's a sweet kid. He's a little mixed up. He's got, well, he's he's oh, like he's pretty kid. rich for yeah. an 11-year-old. He's got a He's very well spoken for an 11-year-old, too. Yeah, very eloquent. Very I really hope that we don't get like people kicking our doors in tonight because of his half a Bitcoin. But... I mean, ten? No, he had ten Bitcoins. He had That's ten Bitcoins. Oh, out. I missed the ten part. Shit. He said he had ten gonna... Bitcoins. Dude, we're gonna die. If I was his dad, I'd put him in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> that? Is that wrong? No, no, no. So, like, 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 like. I think you said it. It'd be like, what's the private key? I think you said it, but I think this is something worth considering about this whole dungeon thing. What if the kids were really shitty and deserved it? Honestly, the best oh, conspiracy the theory I've ever heard in my life. That okay. really is. Like, what the if the kids were... I'm going on r slash conspiracy right now to get ahead of then, this one. Like, maybe we don't have it. the full <laughs> story. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, did I go too far? On that note... <laughs> <laughs> we just bug hunted us in controversy, my boy. Oops. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. See you on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Yeah. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks for spending your time with us. Have a sip of Henny. Don't smoke. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Okay, guys. God bless you. Love you. See you next time. Ta-ta. Thanks for watching.